vibes are so good today. We've been gone for two weeks. The two most important weeks. And we're gone. You explain yourself. Uh, that's, that's my fault. <laughs> that's all you say. No apologies to the fans. No. You know, whatever fans that we could got, they had two weeks to find a new podcast and possibly dub them the best soccer slash footy podcast in the no. world. You don't? No. Why are you so Oh, really? Yeah. You sh- I don't know if you should say that. Yeah. <laughs> you know some people that, that do some soccer. <laughs> a lot of them, actually. Yeah, you know, you know a lot of people that do a little soccer footy podcast. Yeah. Did you, did you tell them that we're the best? I did. How'd they feel about it? They argue with me. Yeah. But they know deep down inside. <laughs> do they really argue with you? That'd be hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Why don't you ever. Nah. If I was there and then you said it, I'd just be like, oh, whatever. I feel like I don't need to argue that. No, either you know or you know. <laughs> Either you know or you know. Do you know? I know. Okay. I know we're the best footy. What is your line? Oh, you even say with confidence. You don't even know line. <laughs> <laughs> the best soccer uh, slash footy podcast in the world. Oh yeah. The world. Yeah, in the world. If you, if you don't know now, you know. Yeah. If you know, you know. Yep. The vibes are the vibes. Oh, the vibes are... The vi- <laughs> I know. It's not your summer anymore. You trash. Nope. Summer's <laughs> over. <laughs> you trash. Summer's it technically over. isn't over. I, you, you guys are such little babies. It's, it's September. Over. It's over. Why? Because it's over. Why? Because back to school. So? That's me. It's, it's technically not over until like the 20th or the 21st. Get by, it right. By the calendar? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, you I'll losers. Oh, school came. Oh, we can't party anymore. I was out last night. I was out last night. Everyone was in bed by like, you know, everywhere was empty by 11 o'clock. Oh, I know. Y'all are trash. That, I, that's why I s- decided to step out. I don't want to wanna hang out with you peasants. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I don't, I don't want to hit the streets with you guys. Uh, I realized that because all summer I was asking you to hit the streets together. We never accomplished that. Mm, you could have went with Fab. <laughs> <laughs> you could have went with Fabs. Got busy with Fabs. Pause. Fabs is retired. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. He's ha- he hung up his boots. Oh, that's what you think. The boots are never hung up. Diana. <laughs> <laughs> the boots are never hung up. Sorry, Diana. She probably don't even listen to the podcast anymore. It's like, oh, Fabs ain't on. I don't get to see Fabs' his cute little face. Yeah. With his new <laughs> swaggy little hat. I wonder if he has new hats. Yeah, he probably does. No, nah, I don't know. When you wash, it's just like, whatever. I'm gonna rock, rock my hair. You know, you, you don't care anymore. No, he's like, ah, oh, I'm good. I bagged it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling. Oh, dad, summer's over. It's Tyrell's fall. It's my actually no, it ain't. Honestly, I don't know. I like fall. Fall's the best month. I mean, best best season. <laughs> no, fall sucks. Why? No, you, know, like, you, know, you like the change of the leaves? Don't get you in a mood. Uh, you in your fall fits? You're not picking. Okay. Who? Hey, if you think I knew that, eh? No, you just agree. Just because last year you stared at the podcast at this time. You, yeah, you're right. That was the one thing that you cherished. <laughs> I you, did. First thing that you learned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fall fits with the little PS. You drink little PSLs? I don't know what you that You know what a PSL is? Yeah. Uh, you ain't. <laughs> Never mind. Should, you, I, should I urban dictionary that? No, no, no. No, PS, okay. no PSL for, for, I don't care. I'm going to say it. PSL is like for white girls. Okay. Like Starbucks. Just go to Starbucks and you want a grande PSL. They'll hit you with it. All right. I, I don't know. I just thought maybe you'd be one of those guys that like nope. test it out. No. Nope. Oh, nope. you're you're I, mad. <laughs> uh, I only. I, I <laughs> you tell you tell them down. What no PSL? No, I I have espressos what? and that's it. Really? Yep. You ever have one from Starbucks? Uh, it took no. too long. Okay. Nope. Nope. I know you. You real. Nope. You you on actually? On. But you know what I ha- you know what I did have surprisingly it was actually quite good. I had an espresso from McDonald's. Really? Yeah. There actually was actually. Believe it or not, I, I, when I had my relatives here from Italy, they were like, oh, you should try this espresso at McDonald's. And I laughed at them. And then I w- we went there, and we had it. <laughs> and you I know, was... Uh, are you going to laugh at them? They're from... <laughs> they live there. Well, they, they know. They should know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, now I know. So... Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> podcast in its flesh. No. But they listened. Oh, really? Yes. Did they get annoyed at me at some point? No. Oh. It's a skull going to change now. No. It's a new era. They actually, it's a new season. They actually thought you were a very nice person. Yeah, I am. Jokes D- on them. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. They know it's the best soccer slash footy podcast in the world. We're gone for two weeks. Gave you a chance to listen to the other podcast. Uh, this is normally when they're <laughs> when this goes on YouTube. <laughs> people will be like, who does this guy think he is with that little subscriber count? It's the best slash footy podcast in the world. Find one. <laughs> Someone's going to find one one day. And link it to us. No, but I want 10 reasons why. Oh, okay. If they give me ten, you're, re- one the, you're one of those. Yeah, if you give me ten reasons why they're better than ours, then I'll be like, okay, shit, whatever. But there's no way you could find ten reasons. No, because I can give you ten reasons why they ain't better than us. 
No, I, they're, yeah, they're yeah. Not, I know. They give you 15. All right. That Test me. That we're better than them? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they know the vibes. How, how are you? No. <laughs> you good? I'm good. I'm all over the place today. No, I know. That's what I let you know that. Yeah, I know you are. It's been what season starts. People don't understand the grind. No, yeah, but we, I don't talk about it because I only talk about it to you because I got to complain to someone. I know, but they don't know. They they don't they don't know the sleepless nights. Nope. No, I don't, anyway, I'm not gonna get <laughs> into that. Who cares? Um, I'm a loser. Uh, it is Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Uh, yeah. Before we start this podcast, uh, those that listen to us and want us to record podcasts on a weekly basis uh things have changed a bit around here um because of the increased workload and the fact that we want to provide you with the best soccer shots footy podcast in the world we're going to record on tuesdays which means that the podcast is going to come out on wednesday mornings you know you can listen to the other podcasts and then find out why we're better um so reasons why yeah so you do that and um when there is the champions league weeks actually no in the international break weeks we'll probably do monday but unless you want to do tuesday then i'm okay we could keep it just Tuesday. Sure. Make it easier. But um, for the Champions League weeks, uh, because there are going to be games on Tuesday and Wednesday, then we're just going to hit everything on Thursday, which could sound like an extremely long podcast, but we're going to do it in a way that the other podcasts aren't doing it. They want you to hear their voice twice because they want all that ad money. You guys should know better. <laughs> we ain't got no ads. Nope. <laughs> and we ain't giving you one. If we give you one, it's going to be our ad. Oh, absolutely. We're promoting something. We're promoting something of ours. Um, and we're working on that. But I'm working on that, by the way. All right. Uh, but yeah, I feel like that was the first thing that... We had to address. Yep. Because they're in case, like... In case people ask. These guys show up for the first week of the season. They were here all summer. And then they decide to miss the, the next two weeks that were extremely important. Then want to come back for the international break. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're here. Yep. We're here. No we, haven't go- we haven't gone anywhere. Yeah, we haven't gone anywhere. I, but we keep playing with them. Yeah, I know. You know, they're t- they keep thinking that we're gone. We're not We're not leaving anywhere. And like, soon. people are catching up to us. <laughs> Shout out to the... Oh, <laughs> You know, I always forget their podcast name because it's like so complicating, and I'm just like, you have it written down? No, no, but I'm not gonna give him a shout out on this. No, yeah, yeah. I am. Oh, you are okay. Good I am. You. I don't know if I'm giving them a shout out. Right. Should I give them a shout out? No, but they're good guys. Okay, <laughs> the answer is still no, but that's fine. Yo, shout out to them. You guys know who you are. Three and one. Shout out to three and one. You got to find out what the rest of their name is. But those guys, they're catching up to us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And they got to put us on their little podcast. I just want to put that out there. They need a bit of edge. They need a little bit of edge? Yeah. Every podcast needs a bit of edge. I feel like at some point, like, they're just going to ask us to come on their podcast because, like, I don't know, man. They're boring. Any, not, that, not those guys, but everyone else. Those guys are doing good. Shout out to them. Three, three and one. 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 Um, but we got stuff to get into. And uh, Dan, as usual, Mr. Popular got somewhere to be. Yep. But this time you get a pass. He's got somewhere to be, so we're going to try and get through everything that mattered over the past two weeks and this weekend. Not really all in one, but like we're going to give you a gist of everything yep. because I don't know if they have done a good job, but we're going to do a better job. Anyhow, Mike's on, camera guy's here. No one else is here today, but starting next week, they're going to be here. Um, special guests? Yeah. We won't say who? Special guests. Well, I don't even know if I want to put them on camera. <laughs> they're going to be here. Okay. Their, their presence is going to be here. All right. The Red Cups are going to be here. You know what goes in the Red Cups? Vodka. No, anyhow, no, oh. no, other stuff. Oh. Water? Yeah. Okay. And then whatever they want to drink. Gin, if you gin drink. and juice? And if, mm, the camera's on, <laughs> mic's on. Uh, everyone here is ready. I'm ready. Dan's ready. If that, with that being said, we've ran this up for a bit. It's the Interviews Podcast, episode 87, live and direct from Toronto, Ontario. It's your guy, Tyrell. This is the best soccer slash footy podcast in the world. We just want to let you know that from the start before we introduce anything. Like I said, live and direct from Toronto, Ontario. Kids are back to school. Everyone's back to work. Everyone thinks the summer is over, but Ty and Dan are here, ready to break down everything that happened in Europe. Yeah. Not MLS. Not this week. In Europe, we're going to break down everything that happened in the major leagues because something is happening in all of the major leagues, and mm-hmm. we just got to touch on it for a bit. Transfer window came to a close. Champions League draw happened, and you guys cared because you guys still watched the shows, and you guys still care about the transfer window because Dan was corny and watching the ticker go by. Oh, I watched oh, it. It's, it's almost Ooh. time. It's almost time. I don't care, Dan. I don't care. You know what? I'm grown. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you over 25, you're still waiting for transfer window. You, your team needs help. <laughs> you, you, you grow up. Yeah, well. Those days are over. Champions League draw, it's not exciting anymore. No, I didn't watch that. I saw. I you, saw. You I, just, I just saw the result. The results. Oh, okay. Yeah. Were you happy with the results? 
Oh. You, you, we'll get to you in a bit. Yeah. And you're lucky that Punk Dion ain't here today, too. We'll get to him in a second, too. Um, but we're here. We're not going anywhere. Best Soccer Stash Footy podcast in the world. Before we get into that, big shout out to the YouTube subscribers. Keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to the people that are commenting. Shout out to the people that are not commenting. Shout out to the people that are going on to our videos for a bit, then leaving. We know you're going to be back soon, so keep coming. Like, every view counts. Correct. You know, keep coming. Keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to all the new listeners. Shout out to the old listeners. Shout out to the listeners that won't come back. Shout out to those listeners that haven't listened yet, but they're going to be listening. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, we'll get to the shouts after. But I want to give a big shout to those people before I introduce you. And to the left of me, it's Dan, for those that are watching. Thank you. You haven't seen him in a while. New subscribers, you haven't seen him in a while. He's a very good guy. Knowledgeable. Um starting to embrace his culture a bit more yeah. did that this weekend yeah i did very happy for him it was his summer but now it's not so now he has to get back to just being regular old dan yep i don't know how he feels about that but he how was your summer out of 10 how do you how do you grade it seven and a half seven and a half that's good yeah i had i had high hopes yeah i was like you he, he's definitely gonna pass a six. Oh, thank god and once you pass a six then you're good yeah. and to all the new listeners and the new viewers if you're watching this we have timestamps at the bottom we're not like any regular soccer slash footy podcast which is why we're the best in the world i care about what he thinks and how he's been doing and anything and that i care about you yeah see there's a bond here we've yeah. got like four four old guys with no, you know what i'm just gonna say i'm not yep. gonna say it but we're not those guys no so, <laughs> so let's get that straight we get down to the shits but you know in, I, with, in our time yeah so um if you don't want to listen to us or you don't care about our lives yet i totally understand your new subscribers and i appreciate we appreciate you yep but on time sounds right at the bottom, and you could click them, and it'll get you right into the Soccer Sash Footy podcast. But, Dan, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, interesting start to the to the season. Interesting. Lots of activity, as you said, both uh, mm. on, and o- on and off uh, the pitch. Oh, you nasty. Uh, yeah. But, <laughs> um, really? <laughs> otherwise, no. Things are, things are going well. I uh, can't complain. End of the summer was great? End of the summer has been good. Ended, a, ended it with a bang? Awesome. That's us. Mm. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's great. Went out with a uh, with a band. Okay. Like to like to hear that. Four yeah. on streaks tr- treated you well. Yeah, they did. They yeah. did. Learned a lot this summer. I learned a lot this summer. Different man. No, still always the same guy. Wiser and cuter. Yes. Awesome. That's yeah. what I just want to know. Yeah. I'm gonna check my guy. Yeah. Make sure that you know you're living up to standards. And and your long weekend. Oh, we watch games. <laughs> well, so did I. But <laughs> we didn't do anything else. All right. <laughs> We do the else. Stepped out last. I told you, stepped out last night, man. Yeah. Uh, everyone was in bed, so I took full advantage of all the space that I had, and I love it because I don't like being in tight crowds where people are on their phone all the time. And I enjoyed the company of myself, hey. which all that matters. To each his own. Yeah. Did you watch any other sporting events? Uh, did there, are there any other sporting events that happened? Yes, Open is going on right now. Tennis. No. Canadian no. girl, Bianca. No. Into the. Is she doing well? She's into, into oh, yeah, the quarterfinals. Oh, I forgot. You're a little tennis guy. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, my, that's, that's oh, my, oh, why aren't you at New York? Oh, that's you my fake. Girl. You fake. Wait, oh. did you go to the Rogers Cup? Yeah. Okay, fine. You get fast. <laughs> no way they could come to our city and you, did, <laughs> and you didn't go and you didn't tell me you're a tennis guy. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I, I take, I, we take, ban you. That's it. Okay. Strip you of your tennis credentials. Oh, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Damn. Well, uh, maybe I'll tune in. Well, we got a week, a week off, so yeah, we could do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll do that together. No. Sure. Yeah, you want to go out now since it's not your summer anymore? You think I was going to let you stun on me and when it's your summer? Get out of here. No. There's no chance. Walk in the room. Oh, it's Dad. It's Dad. It's Dad. It's Dad. No. It's like downstairs. Yeah. The guy knew yeah. it was our podcast. See what I'm saying? No. I don't I don't like that vibe. All right. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I want to see you flourish. Uh, what, else, what happened these past two weeks? Uh, Kevin Hart hurt his back. Uh, yeah, that's a bad car accident. Everyone got mad at Jay-Z uh because of the nfl thing okay. uh, um demarcus cousins is in a lot of trouble yeah uh, <laughs> um us open started uh what, what happened Did anything exciting happen that uh, we missed like that mattered no i feel like well, yeah we gotta take note of these things um and, uh, excluding politics because you never want to get into that bag no. and i never want to get that bag either uh, um anything exciting happen hopefully the people in Bahamas are okay? Yeah, Bahamas. There are a few other places, too. Yeah, a little bit of Florida. Yeah. Um, a lot of yeah, a lot of bad things happen. I don't know. If prayers up to uh, Luis Enrique, his daughter. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Normally, I'm the one, the, the sentimental one on the podcast. Yeah, but I'm just trying to get through everything so that we could just really hit them with the soccer analysis, the um, football analysis. And someone's no. going to be like, oh, don't say it's soccer. 
<laughs> I don't want to talk to those guys. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I think I think we pretty much covered it. Yeah, nothing um, else happened. How stuff that had to happen? No, no, no. Not, not not anything that comes to mind. Shit, you know what's, what's gonna happen when we're driving after? We're gonna be, yeah. Oh shit, that yeah, that did happen. I know. Uh, we've, we've forgotten about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, don't worry, we'll start taking notes. This is a, this is a new era. You age. I told you I've taken. I I don't have them I, on I this know, computer, but I know. I, I did take so some notes. So proud of you. The only new podcast coming out with season two and stuff. No, it's pardon. Nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, when I have too much free time, I listen to stuff that I don't need to listen to. Oh, okay. And then, but you need to keep in top with what other people are doing, so that you could provide them with the best content that they are looking for on a week to week basis. They want to trust us. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just trying to sell it. <laughs> you want to sell it? I'm no. gonna whatever, man. You uh, any anything you want to talk about? Anything no. on your mind? I'm good. Anything exciting that happened to you? Besides your summer ending with a bang? No. No? No. Oh, I'm surprised, Dan. Sorry. I was, uh... Yeah. A lot of stuff happened to me. I know. Do you want to yeah. share it? Yeah. Oh, about seeing my old work? What? <laughs> you ever see your old work and want her back? Okay. Never mind. That's <laughs> not a question that you should ask. <laughs> oh, man. That's the worst. That's the worst. And, I, and you, know, you know my answer. Yeah. The answer is yes. I know. But I've seen like two. Oh, <laughs> it's oh. kinda, yeah. No. Two. It's kind of like, oh, shit. No, no. Well, uh, no. you know, good good to you. Good luck to you. Um, besides that, I don't know, man. The thing th- about me is that when things happen, I kind of manifest in them for that moment. But if like it doesn't happen on the pod day, then I kind of just like drown out of it. So uh, Exactly. Yeah. So that's kind of my problem. But you, I'm going to start writing it down. A lot of things happen to me. And it's like, I feel like people need to know. Hey, listen, then they no, need to know less about mine. Yeah. I'll share the world to them. But not <laughs> not today. But yeah, man. No, not, sh- not, not today because, again, as, I don't, I don't, as, that, as usual, it's my fault Yeah, that we have to. Yeah. Uh, so this is why we're, so we're not getting our numbers up. You're trying to you're trying to cut greatness. <laughs> um, but that being said, big shout out to the YouTube subscribers. Shout out to those uh, that follow us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, um, iTunes, any Android app on your Android devices. We are not Android users, so you guys know what app it is. You can find the podcast there. Shout out to everyone on Facebook that's been following and liking. Yo, you guys did really well um, from the last time that we were here. So shout yeah. out to everyone on Facebook. Shout out to anyone that follows us on Quora, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to the independent men, independent women, the kids going back to school on the first day. Um, shout out to the teachers going back, the principals. Shout out to everyone that's dealing with that that traffic. The traffic, oh. traffic's, traffic's deadly. Yeah. Shout out to everyone that went to the X. You go, you go to the X? The C&E, which is uh, the carnival in Toronto? You I, I only went because the TFC uh, game was on. Uh, only? Yeah. Only? Only. Mm. I didn't pay to get in. Hmm. So? Hey, the X is doing TFC a favor. Now I know why TFC is kind of packed in, yeah. <laughs> in, in August. Yeah. You know, I want to go watch TFC. I want to go to the X. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. Smart no, TFC. So, so, I, so yeah. So yeah? In, in, did, you, did you enjoy it? You know what? It, I actually do. I always enjoy the X. That's good. There's, um, a, little, there's a kid inside of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take, take it how you want to take it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. I, I always find that. I, I don't go on the rides. Okay, good. Uh, you nah. gr- you grown. Yeah, mm. I don't go on the I don't go on the rides mm. um, for a multitude of reasons, but because you uh, grown, yeah. Uh, but I always like to play the little carnival games. Okay, that's Ooh. good, man. Good, yeah. you get a little spirit. I like yeah. that. Get into your carnival bag. Did you go? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh. Um, I, the X, I only go. Well, f- no, I know why. Quite a free ticket, yeah. you know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Can't go to the X unless the female drags yeah. you. I know. Or the family drags you. You can't go with your boys. Can't be like, hey, Dan, Fabs, let's go to the X. No, 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 no. 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 I, that's, why, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, don't get your sister to try and tell me that you can. No, you can't. <laughs> don't you gonna try and be like, oh well, males can do whatever they want to do. No, no. You, you, you ask me, <laughs> you call me and tell me you want to go to the X with me, and you're my boy, then I'm probably the, not responding no, to you ever again. No. Okay, the X. Shout out to everyone that went to the X. Shout out to all the Toronto Soccer slash Footy Podcast, all the Toronto Podcast, all the Soccer slash Footy Podcast. The Clip Draw Gang, Dance TFC Live, Fabs is the Hair Clan, uh, My Interhive, Bop, 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 Clack, Clack, Clack. You guys keep doing what you're doing. And uh, shout out to everyone, man. I don't know. You guys just keep, just subscribe. Like, just click the button. That's about it. (laughs) That's my only endorsement. That's our only ad. But with that being said, uh, we've talked a lot, and I may cut a lot of this because, you know, we got to get to the the real meat and potatoes of everything that happened over the past few weeks. So if Dan's ready, I'm ready. No camera guy because he's still fired. Um, anyone that wants to be an intern um, or hop on the pod with us. I was thinking about this the other day before you start this shit. Yeah. Um, a lot of people try to hit me for killing their teams. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you guys want to come to the pod and talk? 
Hey, the door is open. We could talk about your team. I was going to ask a little United guy to come over because United fans were, even though they think that I'm the hater. I'm the hater. Yeah, you, but you like are legitimately the hater. Yeah, yeah, I rip them every week. Yeah, but I kill them too. Yeah. But like I defend them. No, I just like, rip like, them. Like I'm, but I'm 50-50. No, I, I, I'm no, not. I, I know you're not, but yeah. I just I just want to be able to stand here and say that I'm 50-50. Oh, okay. I'm not. No? I, aren't I, I, no. I defend them, right? You do. Okay. No, but, no. But if, I, if anybody here yeah. rips United, yeah. it's me. So so I'm like, United fans, you, you, think, so, you, you, so, you think you could talk? And you know what? I'll look into the camera and say it. Bring all your hate. Yeah, no, no. So, so they're coming. They're coming next week or the week after. We're gonna talk. We're talking about all these teams. Another little sport. I have my boy that follows Spurs because they're gonna be the big top talking point today. Like, yeah, come to the podcast. We, you know, we're not gonna have an intern anymore. You come. We'll talk. We'll supply you with the mics. With the mics. You, we'll bring the drinks for you. We'll have a good time. We'll kick it. And we'll break it down because no other soccer fo- footy, footy podcast does that. And that's what the interviews is about. We're building a community. Exactly. So with that being said, everyone's ready. I'm ready. Dan's ready. Let's get to it. It's the Interviews Podcast, episode 87, live and direct from Toronto, Ontario. It's been two weeks since the best soccer slash footy podcast has taken it to the next level. And we've given everyone a chance, but now it's our time. I think that's all I got to say. Good. <laughs> Shit. We, I used to be better at that. Nah, it's fine. Nah. You ran out of air. Well, with that being said, best soccer slash footy podcast, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we starting? Where do you want to start? What's on your mind, Dad? You picked the choice because you produce the podcast. You provide the content. Can we start in uh, my country? Why? Because I feel like we always start in England. Yeah, because they mad at home playing. Where, where are we going? Oh, let's let okay. Let me start. Where where where, where no, your let, let me start with. Let, we're gonna start in Italy. Oh, right, but you're gonna you're gonna kill the fans. Pardon me. You're gonna kill the fans. No, I'm not. I'm gonna start on a on a different note. Uh, so because we didn't get to talk about them last week, uh, I want to give a shout out because this is more than footy. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Sinisa Mihailovic. Well, yeah, you got you were really happy about that, and I, I don't know. Like, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I was really happy about it. <laughs> it's not that it's not that I don't care. Listen, <laughs> but I was like, yo, Dad, it's like ten o'clock. Like, don't hit me with this shit. No, now. it's 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 hey, it's important. So, um, look, that's that's the that's the bigger part of of footy, and and uh, I'm not a Bologna fan by any stretch of the imagination. You hate it? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, but I am a fan of his, so I wish him. Uh, all the best, and I know that the type of person uh, that he is. So, and I know he'll battle. No, you don't. Uh, what? You guys never met. You never kicked it on the block. You guys no, never went I, for a spro. Uh, listen, I, I know the kind of person he is. Okay. Just by the way he played on the on the pitch. Uh, so I wish him all the best. Okay. Um, if he ever hears this. Uh, but <laughs> let's start <laughs> trying to make a fan. Yeah, You're so fan. corny. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. Where do you want to start, man? Uh, we'll, start, start we'll, we'll start. We'll start at the Juventus Stadium. Ooh. Yeah, let's start there. Ooh. You, a, we, we were in the podcast when they beat Parma one 0 What? Do they, oh, do they always start with Parma? Didn't they start with Parma last week? Last year? I. Jack Jacarini plays for Parma, right? He used to. Yeah, he used to last year. Yeah. Holy! <laughs> get to play Parma twice to start off the season with a nice dub. Yeah. Who? And then Giorgio won the game, and Giorgio was probably the best player. Yeah. On the pitch that day. And then what happened to Giorgio? Uh, sh- yeah. Shout out to Giorgio, man. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say. Listen, that's a true captain. Shout out. But y'all are. And listen, we're gonna. Y- y'all are. Y'all are. <laughs> Go ahead. You, listen. Come okay. on, man. <laughs> I, I I I understand how important he is. He's 35. Yeah, but he's important on a different aspect of the field. Can he's, he, he's can a, he do that a, with, can he do that with his crutches? Well, he pretty much did. Yeah. <laughs> uh and I think that's I think that's going to be his role. Uh Cuz I was killing him last year. No, I know. And Fabs was joining in. I know. It's Fabs. <laughs> uh, but um in terms of the in terms of the actual game, look, they, let's let's be honest. Juve were lucky to get out of there with what with, with the win, they sh- it should have been a tie. Um, and if Napoli had a little bit more time, they probably would have stolen that game. Uh, Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah. Um, as you said in your analysis, uh, Delic didn't have his greatest uh, first game with, with Juve. Why are you lying? I didn't say that. Yeah, did you I? did. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, I listened shit. to your analysis. Shit. Um, <laughs> first game, you know what? Uh, in, an, in a new... In a new country, we give everybody else who goes to a different league some time. No, I'm going to fight you because you, 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I've interrupted everything you're saying. I know you are. Well, let me finish. <laughs> I'm going to fight you because you never act. Finish, finish. Yeah. Finish. Uh, so I'm going to give him a pass. Okay, so oh, we, we're document this. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> September gonna... September third. Yeah, what you just said. What you just said. It's his first game in a new league. I'm gonna give him a pass. Um, but it wasn't the it wasn't his best ninety minutes. He looked he looked really nervous. Um, and he's pussy. <laughs> he <laughs> he got lost in 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 a lot of movements. Uh, throughout that game, so. I don't know. Maybe we, we, I, I don't know what you're laughing at, but that's the truth. <laughs> no, your analysis has been great. <laughs> I don't know what else. I, that's the truth. I, 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 I never I, said you lied. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> um, look, the the rest of it, the rest of the game, I thought I thought you played quite quite well. Um, Douglas Costa, uh, if he can keep up the the type of of performances he put in the last. Two games. That's the reason why uh, Juve purchased him. Uh, uh, what is it? Two a uh, year, year and a half ago, almost two years ago. Um, they're not going to have a problem scoring. That's not the. That's not the problem. The the midfield, uh, as you talked about endless times last year, it needs to be better. I don't feel that Juve's midfield has gotten any better. Thank you. No, no problem. Um, defensively, look, yeah, Chiellini is going to be missed for his Yo, he, ain't coming, he ain't coming back to season. <laughs> no, 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 he's not. But <laughs> he's done. But I but the thing is that I feel like if Kilini was there that game, that that game doesn't get as tight as it does. Um but with with what you said he's 35 years old, you can't rely on Kilini to be there for the next 2 to 3 years. Somebody's got to step up in his in his spot. Who that could be, I don't know. What's up? Um, yeah, that's. <laughs> I yeah. caught you off guard there, didn't I? Know I? You did. Hey, um, hey, continue. I, I, I like where you're going with this. You from? I, you have not said anything wrong yet. No, from the Napoli point of view, uh, I thought Lorenzo was poor. Um, I thought um, Lozano was was quite quite impressive in his in his debut. He scores, uh, I think he scored on every single one of his debuts that he's um, that he's been on so far. So, look, I, I, I know that you're a big Napoli uh, hater, and I'm going to say <laughs> that right now because I you are a Nap- you are a Napoli hater, and you're an Inter. You're hoping Inter wins Serie, a, and I'll say that for you. I'll say it right now. Why are you, why are you lying? You do. To you people? you want you want Inter to win Serie because you're a Conte oh, supporter. Why? Yeah, you are. Did, you why are. are you lying to people? No, you are. I don't know. I don't appreciate this propaganda. Yeah, you do. Look, man. This yeah. is- <laughs> You do. I put us on live so people can listen to all the nonsense. Even that better, it's live. Throwing out of your mouth Fantastic. right now. Fantastic. Listen, <laughs> I'll say it. I'll, throwing out of your I'll mouth. I'll say it right now. now. And you... we've got a stab. This is like the most bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> and someone said, "Man, yeah, this is the most bootleg uh, podcast it, IG live." We get a little stand later, and I have one too. I'm I, so trash. Um, you do not want to see you win another. That's Scudetto. not. No, that's not. No, yeah, I don't. I, um, how the, many? Okay. How many? How many have they won in a row? Eight. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I'm right. <laughs> yeah, and you I'm won just, eight in a row. I'm, I'm Who sta- the hell wants to see Juve win a ninth? I do. How exciting is that? I don't want to see Aaron lift a trophy. Yeah, you do. I don't want to see Rabio win a win a win a trophy. Yeah, I don't, don't see none of them. No, we gotta switch it up a bit. Nope. I don't see Delit Del- of all people. <laughs> I don't want to see win a trophy. No, I'm playing. Um, I don't hate Napoli though. I just feel that. Hey. Hey, someone wants to join? Yeah, there we get you in a second. Um, I don't hate Napoli. I just don't think they're good enough. They're not good enough to win anything. And Carlo doesn't win anything. So when you put two and two together, it's it's like simple math. You saw that in the... You saw that. Like, you can't approach a game the way that they did and go down 3 nothing in that environment and play the way that they did and think that... That doesn't show me anything. That shows me that you're unprepared. And if it wasn't for Juve switching off. And they did. Which they did. And they continuously do. <laughs> but no matter who the manager is. But that's so but that's my point. I I, I feel that that's gonna be a talking point throughout the year without Giorgio there. Because I don't think that I don't think that happens with him there. That's not true. No, I no, I I truly believe that with what, him there. Why are y'all lying to me? No, I'm telling you, that I'm not lying. You've to never you. seen that happen before with Giorgio there. 
up three nothing? No. Okay. To Napoli? No. Against maybe a weaker team? Yeah, but that's that's Juve's one of Juve's biggest rivals this year. You can't switch off. I I can see them switching off against I don't know Empoli or or Sassuolo. Well, or, is that even you know? better? <laughs> No, it's probably... I would look at Giorgio and be like, hey, you, how are you switching off to them? No, but I can, you can... I, I could understand how you switch off to them. You think okay. it's in the back. But against a, a rival team, yeah. you can't. And a team like Napoli, because La- Napoli... Last year, they didn't play that well against them either when they won 3-1. No, they didn't. Yeah. But when they were up, there, was, they... there was no... There was no chance that, Na- or you didn't get the feeling that, that Napoli was going to be Nap- coming back. That's on. Nap- See, that's why I don't like start with Syria first. In the I podcast. Like, we can kill North London Derby. And no, get, no we'll, gonna, we'll get to that. Talk shit. about Spurs and kill them. Like, we're gonna kill. Yeah, you'll, <laughs> I'm gonna kill, kill them. Kill Napoli minute. and then Juve. Like, you want to get me mad? Yeah. Look, Juve. Go ahead. Do your do your thing on, on how you feel. Because I'm gonna interrupt you like you interrupted me. I just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll laugh then. Hey man, you, you guys don't defend in Italy anymore. It's just, it's Listen, just, it's an entertaining it's, league. Didn't you get the memo? I, I see. I knew it was an entertaining league. Okay, that's one but, thing. But, they, but well, I, that's one thing no, we'll agree on. But but I like when they defend it. Now yeah. they just don't defend. Like the amount of like I do it on Instagram all the time where I point out the errors that the English teams make. Yeah, the Serie A teams are making the like they're making Spain look great. Yeah, I know. But. I don't even think Juve played that great in the opening half, in the first half. They created the chances, but it was down to Napoli playing the way that they played. And I'm tired of holding this thing. But podcast is going to be up tomorrow. Oh, there you go. We're going to post it. And uh, we hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're going to queue in Daz, but Daz, we're going to queue you in next week because we're going to have who? everyone here. Daz Jack. Oh, we'll get him yeah, in. Wait, we're getting him in. No, we're getting him in next week. We got everyone in. Everyone's gonna be here. Uh, Arsenal fans. Don't tell uh, Villa fans. Whoever's here. By the way, Villa got robbed. Tell them that one. I'm okay. I'm gonna break that down tomorrow. Yeah. Course. Shout out to Villa, by the way. Their fans are great. Yeah. Um, great. Uh, great number ten I'm shirt. Po- I'm a post great number ten. But yeah, next week uh, we're gonna. Everyone's invited. <laughs> we have like twenty guys in here. Everyone's invited. Uh, but no one's really playing next week. So the week after that, when the international break is back, everyone's invited. Red cups are gonna be here. We're gonna talk footy and uh, yeah, we we'll make this podcast take us to the next level. Anyhow, we have a peace. Bye. I know Villa got robbed, but we'll talk about that later. Or listen to us after. <laughs> Peace. Um, but back to Juve. The game itself, like when I really look at it, they did start well. And the first goal was a mistake, if I'm not correct. Yeah. Yeah, it was a mistake. And then they got snowballed. Napoli got snowballed. Yeah. But the, the setup was wrong. Okay. They were extremely open. I didn't expect Carlo to, to approach the game the way that he approached it. And then he brought on a second striker, and Juve just didn't know how to cope with the second striker. Yeah. That's, and that's a big problem. Napoli's not... I mean, the thing is that but Napoli think- gave, him, gave other teams a blueprint on how to possibly play against Juve. But not only that, I felt like they... Napoli coming back gave other teams that belief that they didn't have... Maybe in previous seasons, if it makes any sense. No, I get what you're saying. Um, but I swear the talk in Italy was that the league is over now. What? I don't know. Isn't, isn't that the talk? No. Okay. Just, I don't know. I'm just speculating. No. Someone's got to speculate. Um, no. But yeah, Napoli, Napoli are what they are. And don't tell me that I'm hating on them. When you play your opening two games and you've conceded uh, how many goals? Uh, seven? seven. Seven. They conceded seven goals. No. Yeah. Seven they, goals. They won... Yeah. Four three. Yeah. Seven goals. Yeah. No. You're not winning the league. No. You're not. So I'm not hating on them. They're just not good. When I watched them that first, I was surprised that they came back, and that's just down on, to me laughing at Juve for knowing what they are. But for Napoli to come back, or for Napoli to be down 3 nothing, I'm not surprised. Look at the team. Go through the team. When, when you did say that Napoli could be their biggest threat, and you did say that, yeah. um, we did highlight that it was going to be based around Manolas and Koulibaly being... Arguably the best center back partnership in the league, yeah. but they have not shown that in the no. opening two weeks. No, no. And, and Carlo came out and defended Koulibaly not only for the mistake, which was an awful mistake, but the yeah. fact that he was w- hurt. The the, the goal. goal, yeah. Or when he got beat by no, no, no. The the, the beat by Higuain. I I'm giving that to Higuain. Okay. Um, I was gonna say because no, I mean, no. I'm gi- I'm giving that to Higuain. Okay. But when I look at that, the way he tried to clear that, no, yeah. you you can't. For no. for you to be who you are, no, you yeah. can't. I and there there I agree with you. His you if you want to compare him to 
in the same breath as Van Dyke, Van Dyke doesn't make that kind of mistake. Yes. So if you if we want to talk that Koulibaly is probably the second or third best center back in the world, which people are, which people are, fine. But to the other two, whoever are the other two center backs that you think are as good as him, do they make the same mistake? And the answer is no. Yeah. So, but when I go back to to that, I look at it and it's like. Okay, they're supposed to be the best center back partnership. They leak all those goals. Ancelotti came out and defended Koulibaly, saying that you know he was injured for the the Afcon final. They okay. lost. He had a rough summer. Came back to preseason early, not hundred percent fit. I could get all that. I don't understand why the league has Napoli Inter in the second. I mean Napoli Juve in the second week of the season. They had they had Lazio Roma too. Yeah, but that don't really matter. In terms it, of it, it, in terms no, of the title no, no, race. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about big yeah, yeah, big yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, like I don't understand why they have that. Yeah. Then, right? So that kind of bothers me. But, you know, that doesn't really... It's it's still a bit too early to speculate. But when I really look at it, when you go through their team, like Gula, Mario Rui, okay, nice. Uh, Di Lorenzo, eh. Yeah. They were trying to bully him, Juve. Yeah. Any chance they got. The midfield is okay. Right. Alan is okay. Fabian Ruiz, Zielinski, they're okay players. Mm-hmm. Up front. And, you know, I already told you, Insigne never leave in Italy. No. <laughs> Mertens is Mertens. Yep. Even Lozano is Lozano. Like, they are good players. They're yes. not great players. Correct. So I, I look at that team, and I compare that. And I look at, you, Compare that to your Inter team, then. And I, and I compare that to... See, the thing about Inter, and we'll get to them in a second. Okay. Inter have a really good squad. They but, have a good squad. But how many of those... Over a 38 game... No, but the reason why I put Inter there okay. is because I've always felt... Yeah. That Inter were a coach away from being that, from being a team that could be up there. Now I'm not out, gonna be out here in the second week and say that Inter gonna win the league. I would be great if they did, though. <laughs> it would be great. You put it. Go ahead. But when you look at their team and and like, let's look at this team really over a 38 game season. I think that they could go with Juve to the wire based off. The coach that they have yep. and his ability to get the best out of players look no further than Ranokia and Kandreva in the opening two games of the season. Look, if you're de- and now I'm going to counter you. If you're depending on those two players, they're not. Com- they're not depending on those two players because I don't think they're going to start in their those positions every week. They have an abundance of center backs, uh, yeah, an ab- yeah. abundance of center backs. Yeah. Skriniar, um, okay. Ranocchia, they yeah. played D'Ambrosio there. DeVry yeah. is still hurt. Yep. Um, Godin. Yeah. So they have an abundance there. I like that. Am I, I think their weakness is probably out wide in the fullback area. I agree. So, But when you play a three, you could kind of, that's where you Paper the cracks. You yep. make up for that. Yep. And the three is good. Handanovic is a reliable goalkeeper in that sure. league. Yes. You have that. I think the midfield, the midfield, they all have their jobs. And the one thing about Conte's um, midfield is that they don't have to be great. No, nope. they don't nope. have to be great. They, as long as they're industrious and they stick to their job, they're fine. Vecino makes the third man runs. Brozovic could play deep. Sensi has been great mm-hmm. where he is. So that midfield three is fine. And then up front, they got so much better. Yeah. Oh, they did there. They no, got they... so much better. Alexis is going to do fine. Oh, he'll be fine in this league. He'll be fine. Lukaku's going to score goals for fun. Uh, he may not yeah. score goals. He may, he may not do it directly against Juve. But no, but he, he doesn't ha- like. But that's but, the thing. But that's, not gonna, to. that's not going to win the league. That, that, I mean, that's not going to define whether they win the league. No, no, it's no. If they could, not. It's if they could do it to everyone else. Correct. And I have faith that Conte could get the best out of those guys over a thirty-eight game season. The thing with with Inter, and we haven't seen them play any of the. I'm not even going to say the big teams, but the difficult fixtures, the Fiorentinas. The 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 Genoa we're, way. We're, we're gonna learn. We're gonna we're gonna learn a lot about them. Yeah, that's, in, Octo- that's what, in that, October. That's what I'm saying. But I I thought this week was a nice a nice little warm up for what to expect from them. Because if that's last year, they don't win that game. Oh, I've, I have a hundred a hundred and ten. They don't win. I, I they don't win that game last yeah, no, 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 season. No. The, and 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 credit to them uh, to get those to get that that goal. And I mean. The penalty is what what it is. Um, that's, a, that's a decent team. When I look at the play for the, the Cagliari. Yeah, no, they're not that's a bad team. A, that's a decent team. Yeah, and 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 away to Cagliari is not no. uh, it's not an easy fixture. So credit to to them. And like you said, if if this was last year, I don't see them picking up all three points. So uh, they dug deep. It shows that that Conte mentality that we saw at Juve for all those years. You can slowly start to see it even 
early in the season uh, at uh, w with Inter. The question, or the point that you made in October, and, and I don't want to get to their Champions League group because it's probably one of the tougher Champions League groups that yeah, they're why in. Why they always get the tough group? Huh? Why do they always get the tough group? I don't know. I'm but, dormant. <laughs> but that's going to be, how are they going to do on two fronts? Uh, are they going to be? Are they going to drop points in the league, and focus in the Champions League? Do they have a big enough squad to be able to handle both competitions? I uh, think I think they do. Okay, no, that's my that oh. that's my question. And and, and, if, and if I'm them, yo, you drop that cha you drop that Champions League. Oh no, absolutely. I mean, yeah. and, and I think if you ask Conte, he prioritizes the league as well. I'm yeah. just saying, and, and I think and I think he will. Oh, he he, uh, no, I don't think he will at the beginning. I think he he will see how the cha how the how the yeah, group oh yeah, yeah. manifests itself. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not like he's gonna play a B squad in the Champions League. No, 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 no. But I, I I think they'll be. F I think they're gonna. You think be, they, they I get think out of the they're group? better than Napoli. No, but Napoli has the easier group. They have Liverpool, but that's it. Yeah, but Na Napoli gonna get whatever. So what, are they gonna get? They're gonna get. I have put no to the sword. Yeah, I have no faith in them. Okay, getting out of their group. No, no, they'll they'll get out of the group. I don't. I even oh, look okay. to see who's in their group, but they'll get okay. out of the group. They should get out of the group. There's no third team there that could really do them like what happened last year. No, no, no. Of course yeah. not. But they're just. Uh, but if there's any, I don't know, man. I just, I, I just think that the way that Inter is assembled and the fact that they got Alexis, which is big on me, because now it's like when I watch them play, it's like, damn, if Lukaku were to go down. Then I'm like, oh, they're kind of screwed. Yeah. But now they could, like, now they have Lotaro, they have Alexis, and they have Lukaku. Yep. Politano coming off the bench. Correct. He, has, he hasn't played yet. Um, Barella coming off the bench as a nice impact sub, sub. and whatnot. Yep. They, the pieces are there to, to have a squad to push to the end. That's my thing. And okay. I think they could push to the end. I, and I hope uh, that, and honestly, it, uh, in, all, in all seriousness, I do hope that it is a league that goes to the end. It, it is like the Premier League in the last couple of years where, where the league isn't over five, six weeks before the end of the season. So in, on that note, uh, I do hope that, that you're right. Other games in Serie A that you want to cover? And I don't know. And I don't. I don't know about you, baby. With all these players, that they have a lot of players. I, look, I know. I looked at the squad list before the game, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they have a lot. <laughs> they have a lot of players. And, uh, we're the minute. I don't know. There could be something in that locker room, but I want to see when Sari gets like on Back. the bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see how that goes. Yeah. Before I assess it, but um, interesting times. I like where it's going. I haven't watched Milan yet. Um, that is one thing that I'm going to do on the international break. Yep. That's one team that I haven't decided to watch because of the results. And I kind of know what I may get, but I want to see how it's, um, going down. Okay. And, um, I watched that open Rome Derby. Yep. Um, but no one wants to score. Nope. Um, is there anything you really want to take from that? I, I don't like any of the teams uh, for me that uh, I, the only thing that I took out of that is that we talked about the premier league last year, having two levels. I think we're going to slowly start to see it also in City A where there's, if you want to talk Inter, uh, Napoli, Juve as level one, uh, maybe if you want to put Milan in there, but I'm not ready to do that. No, they're not. Um, and then you have the second level, with this, which is Milan, Milan. Roma, Lazio, Fiorentina. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's how, that's from, from watching that game, I just saw that there's a, there's a difference in, in levels. That's, what, that's really what I took out of that. Can you put Napoli B? <laughs> and put those three C. <laughs> sure, you could. No, we got a Napoli bet here, so because <laughs> I feel like you you really want to cape for them, but no, no, no I'm not caping no, for no Napoli. Napoli fan. Listen, is is going against what I'm saying. They may just because like they have to, right? But like they know where they know what their squad is. Yeah, they know who Carlo is. Yes, track record speaks for itself. It doesn't they like know they don't got a they don't know they know they don't got a legitimate goal scorer. If, if those two at the back ain't getting it together, then they're screwed. Mm -hmm. Good. So I just want to get that off yeah. my chest. Move. It. Where, where, are we, where are we going to now? We're going to go to England. Yeah. Good, because I don't care. <laughs> I know that's what you want. To I go. love the Premier League. Oh, I've been dying for the past two weeks because we haven't been able to break it all down. Where are we going first? We're going to the Emirates. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? 
Um, Are we doing people on those podcasts? Well, we go to the Emirates and it was two two Spurs. <laughs> Harry Kane and Erickson scored. And then I, I wanted you to. I, I I I thought you were going to do an English accent. <laughs> oh, I was going to. Then I coughed. I was yeah. like, you know, I'm good. Yeah. No, nah, um, let them get their English accent off. <laughs> Yo, get Jose off to you. Someone gotta hire Jose, <laughs> please. Please hire Jose. <laughs> Why is Jose on TV, man? They're doing him so dirty. I know. How is Ollie and Frank hired? We're yeah. to those two bumps in a second. We'll get to those. But how are they hired? Jose's on Sky Sports. This is. I, cr- thought, it was B- I thought it was BT. Is it BT? Yeah. I swear, no, I swear he's on Sky Sports. Oh, so Sunday. maybe he's double dipping. <laughs> Why is Jose being a thotty? I don't know. <laughs> for the English media, like get him a job. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> don't worry, he's he's just waiting in the wind. Someone gotta hire him. Like this is crazy. Um, no, but about the uh, about the game, um, open. Um, I, I don't even care about the game. I don't care about the game. How do you feel how, after watching it? How do you feel? Because I'm a producer right now. Because we know who one A and one B is in that league. They've yep. already set that standard. Yep. But we we were kind of trying to figure out who was going to be third and fourth. Well, you said at the beginning of the year that you have Tottenham as third. Yeah. You, um, I, I'll, I'll say it. On paper, you feel that Tottenham is the third best team. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. But they're pro- and we're going to I'm gonna re- we're gonna do a real deep dive on them in a few minutes. Do you want to reassess that statement? No, because that's going to be part of my deep dive. Okay. But I I still think Um, behind all the BS that we've seen, because they haven't played one good game this season. No. They they barely got out of Fulham. Yep. I mean, not Fulham, Villa. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. (laughs) They played terrible against City. Yep. They lost to Newcastle. Correct. And they goddamn could have lost here. Yeah. So they played like crap. Yeah, but the fact, the reason why I can't put anyone else above them is because United, Chelsea are doing what they're doing, uh-huh. that nonsense. And then we go last week where we got David Luiz making stupid decisions against Liverpool. Oh, well, he didn't play very much, didn't play any better this week. <laughs> and then this week, Son ghosted him. This week, we got them getting killed on the counter and we got Leno pushing the ball to Ericsson. And then we go, <laughs> who made the foul on Sun? <laughs> was it Socrates? No. Or was it Xhaka? Xhaka. And then we got that. So that, <laughs> that is why Spurs are going to... Like, that's why Spurs should be the third best team. Yeah. Because... O- honest, honestly, <laughs> when, when, when Spurs scored that first goal, I thought to myself, holy moly. Hey, man. <laughs> can, could, could you not hold on to that weak-ass shot? Hey, Lester's third right now, right? Hey, <laughs> Lester's don't, third. Don't sleep on that team, by the way. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sleeping. No, 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 no. Don't sleep on that <laughs> oh, team. Oh, they're with the league? What? Nothing? I don't know. I'm no, just, no, win no, the, no, yeah, no, no. Just say it on record. <laughs> no, there's, 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 I'll tell you and I'll make, I'll, I'll, I'll take a word out of, out of, out of Jose's book. There's three teams that are going to win this league. I have the possibility of winning this league. Lester's not one of them. No. Manchester <laughs> City, Liverpool, and Manchester City B team. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he did say that. Yeah, that loser. Um, <laughs> That's why he's not employed. Because <laughs> he's ripping his old employers. Um, no, I honestly, I, 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 understand where you're coming from with with the Spurs, uh, and we have yet to see the the best of Spurs and the other three teams, United, Chelsea, and and Arsenal are really what they are. Uh, I didn't see anything from that game that. If I was an Arsenal fan, impresses me. Uh, other than Gunduzi had a, actually a, a, a pretty good game, um, but the rest of that team, David Luiz at center back, that that's not working out for you. Um, Obama Yang and and Lacazette is, are are, are going to keep scoring um, if they could only figure out how to defend. <laughs> <laughs> only if they could figure out how to defend. Uh, uh, um, we look at that game. Yeah, I don't think Spurs played that well at all. <laughs> no, no. Again, that's, I, that's first thing. Yeah, yeah. And the second thing is that Arsenal very, be- very much could have won that, like you said. Yeah. But again, defensive mistakes. Yeah. When I, when I look at the Arsenal side to it, um, Lacazette has to get going. I, I just, there, I know, like, Unai is a really good coach. Because I feel like if someone else was coaching that, if, like, Wagner was coaching that team, they'd be much worse than they are. Like, yeah. like Unai has a plan. Yeah. But I, 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 I killed them for their transfer business this summer. 
rightly okay. so, because yeah. I feel like to get David Luiz on the last day showed me that you were never going to get a center back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if, were, if David Luiz didn't come out and like voice his displeasure for Frank or Chelsea, oh no, he, they weren't. They, they weren't. They, they weren't, weren't. That wasn't in the plans. They weren't going to get a center back. No. And then look, what would they be left with? <laughs> like really, what we think about it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so we got that first. So I just feel like they're so imbalanced. And when they when the transfer window closed, I was like, they're going to have to outscore teams to win games. That's what we said, yeah, right? And I look at them from the front, and on paper, that front three should look good. I feel like Lacazette's going to have to somehow allow those runners in behind. They looked good against Liverpool before they got battered. Correct. I've stated that. And I feel like, and I've told you about Nicholas, and yeah. that he can only play one way. Yes. And we're seeing that Correct. <laughs> real fast. Yeah. He only play one way. I, I read a comment of, wait till he gets going. But he can't. I'm, but wait, I'm waiting. He can't get going unless he's running into space. Because besides that, he can't. He can't beat his man to save his life. No. But I, I, I'm just putting out faith there that Unai could, could help him develop into the player that people like think he could be. Okay. Okay. But I look at them, and the one thing that they do have some hope for is the midfield. Yeah. Jaka got to get out of there. Gaduzi had a very good game, I, and I, yes. and I, and I said that I thought that was maybe his. One of his better games in an Arsenal yeah. second half, second specifically, half. yeah, yeah. So, so you look at like what is their best three up front? Or no, in no, in midfield. Well, we know their best three up front. Who's their best three in midfield? I don't think it's hard. Gunduzi, okay. Terrera, okay. Uh oh, I don't know who would you would who would your third? It's either Jacques or Sabios. I would go. Oh. I, I don't rate Xhaka very very high. Not a lot of people do. So you, you put Ceballos. Yeah. And I, and dude, we've seen three elements of Ceballos. We've seen Ceballos against a Burnley side that's not really going to press him because they're going to sit deep and he do, and he dominates them. Yes. We see Ceballos go to Anfield, which is probably one of the toughest environments to and go to around. in Europe. D one of the toughest environments in England and definitely one of the toughest environments in Europe. Yeah. He goes there and they press the hell out of him. Yep. Which is kind of like a wake-up call, which I'm not surprised. And then he comes into this game, and I feel like he changed it because unlike the other three, when he gets the ball one, he could control it and kind of control the tempo of the game. Yes. And he could beat markers when they're coming to him. Yeah. So so I like him. And I, I would like to feel like Torreira, um, Ceballos, and Ginduzi is their best three. But when we look at the best teams in Europe or more so look, let's just look, at, the look at England. Let's just look at the best teams in the country. Yeah. One has Fabinho, one has Rodri yep. or could toss in Fernandinho there. Correct. And then when we look at the other three, look at the problems. Spurs don't have anyone to play there. Nope. It's, it's Winks or Sissoko or Endombele, which is not a Rodri or Fabinho. No, no, no. Chelsea don't have n Jorginho. Conte? Because Conte is more box to box. Okay. I know they want to put. I know they they want to put him there, but yeah. he, that ain't him. Okay. So and, Jorginho. And, and then United have Pogba. Oh. And <laughs> your, your boy, your boy Paul. <laughs> but they have my boy Paul. Okay. They got my boy Paul just chilling. So we look at that, and and I feel like that's the biggest problem. And it's not easy to find that player, but I feel Arsenal need that player. Yeah. They've always needed that player. I think the last time they had a player was Patrick Vieira. Yeah, but he wasn't even he wasn't even that player. Were they trying to no. label, label him that player? Was but, it, wasn't but, it him and Gilberto? Yeah. Gilberto was more of that player. Okay. But but even even then they had like they had when they were doing really well before injuries hit Ramsey, they had McKellar set to there. And he, yeah. although he's not that type of player, he was able to sit and play passes around. He actually when Aaron Ramsey was at his best, it was because Arteta sat and Ramsey was able to just push forward and Correct. do whatever the hell he wanted to do. That was Correct. when the last time Arsenal looked like they were in somewhat of a title hunt up until like December or something. Yeah. So I look at that and it's kind of like, okay. Oh, they had Diaby too, but he always got hurt. Yeah, no, no. So Arsenal, like, I feel like that base, they need to figure out the central midfield. They have the attack and that will develop with time. And the defense is the defense. Like, you, there's nothing that you could do about it now. That is who they are. They're, but they're not going to do anything about that defense for the rest of the year. Uh, that that is yeah. because I don't. We have said this on a number of you don't occasions. Think they're going to do anything in January? No, I don't think that's a that's a transfer window that that yeah, I know that you do very much business in. And if you are, you're going to pay premium a, a premium for premium. It. So 
this is going to be a running yeah. discussion that you and I are going to have but, on this defense. Yeah, but we, but you see, I've accepted it, so I don't really care. No, no, I know. <laughs> but what I've always said for them is that I don't think they got to go out and get, like, get a delit. Or, or like go the Harry because they could have got Harry Maguire, but they were smart and they're like, we're not paying. No, no, no. <laughs> but but the, our our thing is, they need another. They need a, a a truly world, not world class. They truly need a a top center back. They need someone to, that could compliment Socrates. If Socrates is gonna be the second guy, correct. That, that's all. That's all. That, all I ask for. If Socrates is gonna be that guy, that's definitely gonna play. Yeah. Or if it's going to be holding in the future or whatnot. Right. Or if it's going to be one of those two, just get someone that compliments them. I don't need you to get the next big thing or the big thing. Yeah. Pause. I don't need you to get any of those. But get someone that's that compliments them so you can build the foundation. Yep. That's all I ask from them. When I get to... So that's Arsenal. And they could have won this game, but they made the mistakes that they did in the first half. Because I thought they pressed well, but then Sun was killing them. They played well for the first 10 minutes, Arsenal. And then Sun was killing them on the yeah. counterattack, and Spurs were finding a way through. But then I get to Spurs. And the one thing I'll say about the Spurs is that under Pochettino, they've matured because they know how to play in these big games now. Mm-hmm. They, like, I count on them to get results in these big games. Oh, so do I. They've gone to the Emirates, and they've gone to City, and they have not played a, <laughs> they did not play well at all. Do, so just a quick question before you go on your Spurs. Do you feel that this was a, a point one for Spurs? Or you feel- given the given the way that things turned out, yes, right, because they went to the Emirates, they were up to nothing. I know, but if you're up to nothing and you lose that and you lose that lead and you hang on, yeah. So you th- that's points dropped then. Well, it's, I don't think there's any. Or, or are you, win- there's it, no winner there, but because they're the away team, that's what I mean. And because the way the game was shifting, they look like the ones that were going to lose in the final forty five minutes. I'll give it to them as a point earned, but there was no winner. Okay. I think they both lost. And um, ha 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 to anyone. Ha 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 to anyone who thought that Spurs were in the title hunt this season. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Um, but this is my problem with Spurs, and I think it's gonna be a very long season for them now, because I didn't know all this stuff was transpired, which is why we gotta get sometimes we gotta get the little people to come in. Yeah. And you know, even though you may be biased about your team, like just come in and talk, and we you know we'll, we'll have a talk. But. I didn't know all this shit was happening behind the scenes. I, I was always wondering why Vertonghen wasn't playing in the opening. He he, he t- terrible, by the way. Yep. But I didn't wonder why Vertonghen wasn't playing. Why Erickson wasn't starting. But it was be- and logical me should have thought that. Oh yeah, they're they're looking for moves out, correct? And now they're staying. Yep. And I think this is the last season for them for Spurs. Absolutely, this because the way Pochettino was talking, he wants out, and he's waiting for Zidane or Oli to get fired, correct? Because he's the front runner. For both, actually. Yeah. Yep. So he's a front runner for both. So he's wait, and there's a good chance that both of those bums may get fired. I, actually, t- t- I I think he's the front runner for the second. For Madrid? No. Or for United? United. Okay. Because the guy on BT Sky and oh Jose, whatever other yeah. ones he's bootlegging over there. Yeah. Uh, f- for me, he's the front runner for okay. Madrid. Okay. Understandably so. I'm not going to debate that. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, the way things are going for United, that I re- we said that they made the mistake in not hiring Posh to begin Correct. with. Correct. But the way that Poch is talking, he wants out. He, yeah. He, he, ain't, he ain't talking like he wants to stay. No, no. And he's challenging He's challenging the players. Yes. Challenging the board. Yeah, yeah. He, he wants out. Yeah. The way he handled... He could have handled those situations with Erickson and Vertonghen so much differently. He would have handled it differently if this was two years ago. Yes. That, and, and I think that's where you're, yeah. that's where you're going. So you, a different, you've seen a different attitude of yeah. Poch. And, but, and those players want out. And then the, the whole fullback fiasco yeah. that they let Kieran go. Which was a mistake. Well, I told y'all Kieran just had a bad year. Yeah. <laughs> Kieran showed it at Atletico. Yep. <laughs> but the, and now they have no right back or left back. We got to see Davinson look like... Davinson can't play his own position. So how is Davinson going to play a right back? Yeah. <laughs> he can't play his own position well. Yep. Walker Peter got hurt. Yep. Foyth got hurt. Yep. So it's like... It's just like is Danny Rose still playing on that left wing? Yes, and not well. And he, that's a he was at fault for, for he was at fault for the first one, the clearances. Yeah, okay. They couldn't clear the ball. I think we're gonna see. Was a, uh, he, oh, well, the, the second one he ran. Well, the second one, Aubameyang ran across him and Vertonghen. Yeah, that's what so. I was one of them got to pick him up. <laughs> Someone, yeah. if no, I, but I feel that's that's, that's more that's, of, it's more Vertonghen. You gotta follow that. Run. It's, it's more Vertonghen, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But 
just going off someone that's played that position, it's like if I know my center back's beaten, I'm tracking that run. Yeah, that's it's fair. obviously that's easy. It's obviously easier said than done because the speed at that level is much higher. Yeah, and it's like split but, second. And the only thing is that I, I, I argue, I'll argue against you because I've played in both those in that center back position and the right back position. Okay. And when when that forward is making that run, I expect my center back. You know, he's cutting across the box. I expect my center back to at least follow him. Yeah. That's all. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not. I'm not giving uh, Danny Rose a pass. I'm just saying that if any center back, that should be their, that's their job to cut, cut that off. Okay, fair enough. In general. That's yeah, no, 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 fair um, enough. But I, I look at that, that fiasco, the Pochettino fa- um, factor, the two players that want to leave, the fact that I don't think, uh, the fact that last year they hit that ceiling where they're never making another Champions League final again. Not, not with this squad. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to say again. They're not making it with this squad. They're yeah. not going back this year. They no, had their, no, no. They had their chance, and they lost to the better team. But yeah. I just feel like they've hit that ceiling. They've had the same core for the past few years, and I don't think that they could get any better. I feel like if the manager's not willing to go the extra mile anymore because he's burnt out and wants somewhere else to go, if other players are looking for new um, destinations, um, son. Like I've always said, son has a window, and I also think that he can only play to a certain style if the space is there. Mm-hmm. I think he's a better Nicholas Pepe. Yep. Um, I feel like Harry has to do too much if Erickson isn't there. Harry, Harry reminds me of of Benzema to an, to a degree, where they're so good at everything. Yep. That they do too much if the service isn't there. Correct. There are times where I see Harry going deep, yep. going to the left. Yep. He's trying to create. Yep. But it's like if he was just a goal scorer, he would just be in that box. But because they're so good, they move around. And if no other, if there's no other legitimate goal scoring threat around them or no creative threat, then their game suffers. Which is why Harry at times is isolated. And then he moves around. And, Correct. And then Delhi, we'll see. Lamella has been playing well. Lucas is Lucas. Like, yep. Lucas and Lamella, you, you know they're ceiling. Ceiling, yep. Um, the, I don't know if Harry Winks is going to progress any more, any more further, further yep. Yep. under this regime. Sissoko should not be playing center midfield if they want to go to the next level. Correct. Um, Endo Belly looks promising, but we'll see how his he, season progresses. First year in Th- England as well. There's just so much. And if the other teams weren't so incompetent, we could have a discussion about Spurs not finishing the top four. But because the yeah. other teams are so incompetent in various aspects, they should be there. But I feel like this is where we have to have a legitimate discussion about them because I don't know if they're going to be able to turn the corner and meet the level that they hit last year or even go further. And it's always tougher to do that when the other two teams are maintaining their level and possibly getting better. Better, yep. yep. So so that's my thing with Spurs. And I feel like... I'm going to get my boy in. He's a big Spurs fan. Went to the fine. Champions League final last year. Good. Like, die hard. Uh, we have a discussion with him. We're going to chop it up with him. and Because I really want to know, like, what else is going on behind the scenes. Because what I'm seeing right now, and I know it's early, but it's, it's the thing is that the writing's been on the wall. And they've relied over the past few seasons on different players stepping up at the right time. Yep. But if it's not a cohesive, and I hate using that word, but if it's not a cohesive movement amongst everyone playing to that level, like we see with Liverpool, like there's at least six or seven players that are playing well. But, you know, and, and, and Klopp's come out, and even Klopp sounds like this is his, this is his last year uh, possibly at Liverpool. I almost feel like even in, even in our, our daily lives or um, when you're at a job, for X amount of years, you almost, you get to that point where you do need a, a, a change. Uh, and so, some so people... So that's a Fergie. Yeah. But look what he left behind. Um, that was like l- 20 years later. Yeah, l- 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 <laughs> he, he held it down. <laughs> l- look at Arson. Um, <laughs> but I feel that m- m- football has changed since they were there. And I feel like now every manager does have a, a shelf life. You can look at Max at, at Juve. You know, he lasted, what was it, five, six seasons uh, at Juve. But at the end of the day, every manager 
uh, has a shelf life. And I feel that that's almost what we're starting to see with Poch at Spurs. Whether he he leaves at the end of the season for another club or, or whatnot is yet to be seen. But I can see where you're coming from with that his attitude has changed and him wanting or even forcing himself to get out of there. Daniel got to be spicy and just fire him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daniel got to be spicy and fire his ass. No, but it's not even Kl- Klopp's prop Klopp somewhat to a degree of Guardiola, but I'm surprised that Klopp's been able to maintain it. I think I actually think he'll stay is that I expect Klopp's teams to drop off a bit, but they're kind of maintaining it. We'll get to them in a second. Yeah. But it just comes to a point where like, if it's not working, it's not working. I feel like if Spurs invested in Pochettino's plans, more so than just getting him and Dombele and letting everyone else walk and then not replacing them, then perhaps he'd be more inclined to stay. Right. I don't think he has an issue there, but it comes to a point where if your employer isn't matching your needs, because the employer should treat the employee with the same respect. That Correct. The employee Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you want, if you really value your employee, then you'll do whatever you can to ensure that they stay unless they get a really unless they get an offer that they can't refuse. Correct. And you and and if United ain't that offer. No. <laughs> so so no, so no. Poch know that. If it was no. Real coming to him yes. with with the money that they invest in Zidane, Correct. I'd be like, okay, I get it. Yeah. But United <laughs> ain't there. No. No. But United will definitely, to a degree, give him what he needs more than Spurs will. Financially. Financially. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that if he could like if United really wanted to get an Dumbele, they could have really pushed that. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like it was like everyone was fighting for his signature. No, no, no. And he went to Spurs. Yeah. So, <laughs> so no one was really coming at him like No, that. no. Um Go ahead. I was gonna say, do you have anything more or No, we... I'm gonna kill you about Delit. <laughs> we'll say I'm gonna save that for Dion. Okay. You think I forgot? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kill you for for little Delit. Okay. And and those little comments of why I hate all of y'all, but that will tie into something else. Okay. Um, Liverpool City, do you learn anything about them this weekend? Yeah, we don't really got to break down their games. That to a they are the two best teams. In Europe? Pardon me? In Europe? No, in England. But we can have the discussion that they're... Th- we can, but... Yeah, that they're one of the two. Yeah. I, w- I won't undisputedly claim them one and two. No, 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 no. Well, we can... We, technically... Yeah. Your, Liverpool are the reigning European champions. Correct. <laughs> and, 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 and if we're looking at all of the other... Top teams, uh, they, they those two look like they're like if the Champions League knockout stages were now, yeah. Oh, they'd be killing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they they look scary. Yeah. Um. Did I did I did your question is did I learn anything? Yeah. What did you learn? Um. We're not breaking down those two. Not games. really very I much. Um. Less less from City. They played Brighton. Yeah. Yeah. Brighton <laughs> get relegated this year if they don't <laughs> they don't switch up. Yeah. Um. I'll start with City first. Okay. Uh, yo, man, prayers up to Laporte, man. Prayers oh, up. yeah, I was gonna say that's your boy. Yeah, I don't have anything. I don't even want it to play. Yo, we y'all don't want to talk about Laporte being one of the best center backs in the world. So who's is is that? Is y'all that, don't want to talk about Laporte possibly being better than Van Dyke? They're gonna kill me on that ledge. They're gonna kill. They will kill me on that ledge. But yeah, we, we're gonna. You so see, we can't. Hold on, I'm gonna ask you. We, we can't have that discussion. Is that not a discussion? We, we no, no, we don't. No, I'm not saying today. Oh, okay. They, I, they, I was gonna say we for next week. Okay. But yeah, we, in the international break. I, I would like to see where you're gonna go with that because I, I feel, I don't think the gap is large, but okay. I, but I, I still feel that if you're gonna ask me, who you're gonna take, between those two, mm-hmm. I, I take Van Dyke. It's not like I said, the gap is not, lo- it's not far apart, but I still take Van Dyke. And then I would counter that with, with why. Well, I'll, break, we'll, that, we'll, I'll break that down. We'll, we'll save that minute. next week. Yeah, but I don't think. That, but I don't think people you, should laugh you, at you, you because I don't think the gap is as no, y'all as as big as people think. Y'all, it is. y'all got Imeric oh. all the way fucked up. You, you guys are not watching the same guy that I watch. Even Didier had to take his little gripe with him and yeah. be like, "I'm gonna call him up." Yeah, yeah, because he's the best center back in but, France. So, sorry. You he, he, no, he's the best center back for France. Yeah. Oh, I think you said. He, he, oh, oh, well, if he went to France, he'd be the best. Oh yeah, center. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I agree. No. Um, but I'm tired of the media PR on Virgil. That's fine. I, I, you hate Virgil too. He's out there with the licked. I don't know what's your beef with it. I think you just don't like Dutch people. Let's put that on there. Oh, oh yeah, they vote Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't no, like you like Frankie? Because you guys no. <laughs> see, see, see. I hate him too. Um, he ain't do Co- shit for Barca. <laughs> S- sidebar: Do you do you like their uh, uh, significant others? Yo, Frankie got a little baddie. I yeah. didn't see the others. But we can show me the others after. Okay. Yo, Virgil um, got a sweetie. I'm gonna be so pissed. She, he does. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's not the point. Um, L- Laporte goes down. Yeah. Otamendi. Otamendi. Yo, y'all are really like people are like, oh, that's over now. Look, no, is that no? That, but that's that's who fits. That's who that's who well, comes I, in. It, yeah. Well, who? who it's gonna be Otamendi, and it's looking like it's gonna be Fernandinho. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I think that I don't think like people are making this seem like it's such a big deal. But your, what about your boy John? How how we haven't found out how long Laporte's out for. It's gonna be. Oh, uh, I, I heard I heard three to four months. Okay, I see that. I expect that. Oh, I thought you knew. No, uh, no, I didn't know. Okay, I heard. I've only I, heard. I've been out of the work. I've been out of the footy world in terms of like news and stuff. For okay, the past so I've days. I've heard three to four months. That's not too bad. Right. Um, I don't know what but the hell this is, is all of the Champions League. I which they don't. Their group's to trash. Out. Yeah, yeah no, 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 I know, I know. <laughs> I, I don't think. I think there's something up with John and Pep. Okay. And I'm interested to see because I know you rate Stones quite highly. I did, but there's there's something there because John should be playing more games, but John's not playing. Yeah. So there's an issue. I don't know what the issue is, but when I look at it, obviously John can slide in with Otamendi. They could. They have so many options for him. But but doesn't that tell you something about Pep's confidence in him? If he would it, rather play Fernandinho exactly, in that role. Exactly. That, that's one of the things, right? Yeah. So, so we, we have to see how that transpires and see what he's getting out of John, if he's going to rely on John. Because Fernandinho could slide in. They could throw... We could see Walker there. We and, could. I know and, a lot of and, people A and, lot of people have not Concello thought about that. On and Cancelo go on the right. We could see Kyle Walker. How much defending are their center backs really doing for Kyle Walker not to, no, no. to be a center back? I'm, yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. That we, we can see but, that. But that's not the first time I've heard that. Yeah. Uh, well, no. We've seen Kyle play in a back three last season. Correct. And I, and I thought that that is what we will see at some point this season where Kyle plays in the three and, and, and then Cancelo's up. And you know what? I, I, I think Pep rates him, not Cancelo, uh, Kyle, Kyle yeah. quite highly. Yeah. Because what was it? I mean, it was a couple of weeks ago. He made a bad pass. Yeah. But Pep was furious and subbed him. Um, that tells me, as a as a former player, if a coach has that much confidence in you, or is that upset after yeah. you make a mistake? It tells me that you hit he, it. He believes in you. Yeah, you hit right? it. So if if he's pulling you out, it's not because he's he's upset. He's upset, but he's disappointed mm-hmm. because he thinks of your he thinks of your ability is that high. So I, that's why I think he can really slot in or Pep sees him as a versatile defender. Yeah. So we could see him in yeah. that center back Kyle, role. I think Kyle can't pull off the Sergio Ramos rebrand. No, Ramos I think was he can. a right back. What's a center back? Yeah. Killed it for a few years. And Cancelo's a pretty damn good replacement. Yeah. So yeah, man, I ain't too worried about that. No, he offers you at least as much going forward as, as Walker yeah. does. No. Yeah. So, so Laporta Van Dyke. <laughs> I, 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 I'm playing. I'm playing. Um, besides that, yeah, man, that game was a, a bunch of nonsense. And yeah. if Aguero thinks he could score against a little bright. I didn't think I'm gonna care. Um, hey, yeah. shout out to him. Yeah, get him out of here. No. Those games are for David Silva, by the way, because I think David Silva's like close to washed, which is why he's leaving next season. Yeah, but I, I think he's close to washed. Uh, do you know? Do you know where he's going? I don't care. Okay. Do you know? No, I don't. Oh no, I don't. TFC. Uh, I'm not close with him. Like you're close to to Mila. Harlovich. <laughs> We're not boys. <laughs> we don't have Spros. Yeah. Um, Liverpool, you learn anything? Uh, Boy, was that a wonder hit from Trent that, you he, know what I've learned? that he planned to hit. You know what I learned? Sadio Mane has a temper. Yo, he low-key jealous of Salah. He he was pissed. He He's low-key jealous of Salah. Yeah, I think... We, I, when we really break it down, like, Mane was supposed to be that guy. And then they bought Salah. And then Salah kind of... If, if, if Are I you did, taking to the carnival? Mane or Salah? No, I'm not. Most, oh, my, yeah? most, most my guy. Who wins the fight? Mo or Salah? Oh, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I said Mo or Salah. M- Mane or Salah? Mane. Mane. Mane wins the fight? Oh, yeah. So you're taking Mane to the carnival? No, I'm still taking Mo. Really? Yeah. I mean, they're going to beat you up at the carnival? No, they're not beating me up. Okay, fine. Well, what are you uh, gonna I'm, I'm with Mo Salah. Um, <laughs> would, you, would you have passed? I don't know. And I've played with you, so I already know the answer. Yeah, I would pass. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't pass? You, you better score if I pass it to you. <laughs> That's not the question. The question is, would you pass? Does 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 Sadio have a beef? 
there? Because he was pissed. Yeah. He was pissed coming off. Yeah, because well, you see how Salah was playing that entire game? Yeah. Salah got to relax. <laughs> like, you think got money on him to score? You know, whatever. Listen, That's a whole different... He, he capped himself in his fantasy league. But yeah, he's just like, oh, shit, I really got to go off today. They got yeah. they got money right now. Yeah. He got he got to relax. Yeah, Firmino playing peacekeeper on the sideline? Yo, for, for the biggest highlight was his celebration. His celebrations are always are always yeah, class. Uh, yeah, and Mane tried to always like one up him and was like, "No, your celebration is trash." Yeah, but th- they look they look good, man. Yeah, that's their thirteenth uh, stat stat of the day. Yeah, that's like their thirteenth Premier League win. Yeah, like we we are taking Liverpool. And if there's any team that I hate, no, I'm joking. I do hate them a bit. Something about them I don't like. I've never liked. Well, back to Napoli. No, no. Oh, okay. No, like Liverpool is just different. Okay. I don't know why. Um. Cause you hate Napoli. No, I don't. They're just trash. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Tell tell their fans, and if they have a beef, they know where to find me. Okay. Um, the thing with Liverpool, I feel like we take them for granted. Uh, yeah. Okay. We do. Like they're good. Like they, they're great. They have figured it out. They're, yeah. They just can't lose. They're great. I mean, they last year they didn't lose either. They still yeah. lost. Yeah. So it's so like them. it's like shit. We we can't lose. Yeah. <laughs> and they're they're killing everyone. Yeah. Fun city. Yeah. And you know what's funny? Where we talk about. Inter having those like those tough trips. Yeah. Burnley's not an e- it's not it's not the easiest place to go and get and get yeah. three points. But yeah. they made it look easy. Yeah. Like that game, okay, l- take away um uh, Alexander's But, but I thought they were gonna score they should have scored before Trent yeah, that's before what Trent got that yeah, goal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're, and they're weird because like Trent's like their most creative player. Like Yeah, but I like I like Robertson on the other side too. That guy, that guy's, that yeah. guy's the better version that, of, of Alonso. That's been my, yo, know, R- Robertson's been my guy. When I used to see him play for Hall, I was like, when Liverpool bagged him for ten mil, I was yeah. like, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> Some guy, something. He's in the box. He's putting crosses yeah. in. Yeah, but but he, he gets lucky because Van Dijk covers him like no tomorrow. Yeah, but like they they can't. If Van Dijk's not there, they can't be pulling off the. No, way. no, no, <laughs> but 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 it works because of that. I know, I know. So you're lucky. Yeah, Van Dyke. Hey, listen. Pull a little hammy. You, you see Robertson say right where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Joel ain't picking up that. Slack. Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> um, is Firmino the best Brazilian Premier League player ever? Ever? We're gonna have to have that conversation. Um, first, first stat of the day. <laughs> um, he's, he's got fifty Premier League goals. No? First Brazilian to score fifty Premier League goals. Yeah. Um, stat of the day. I- <laughs> Appreciate my stats. Yeah, he's got to be right up there. I'm just trying to think of other Brazilians oh, no. that have played that. <laughs> they all fail. Yeah. Um, Y'all. What about Gilberto? Oh, no, man. For Firmino. Oh, Firmino got to just win a league title. And then we got. Yeah. But I'm thinking he needs to win a league title, man. 50 Premier League goals. Yeah, no, no. I'm just saying you're talking. Just. Yeah. T- t- yeah. Take goals up. yeah. If we're going to put them in a, like, a little group, then. Yeah. yeah if he's in um, there. Well, I don't think anyone's. But otherwise, I mean, he's. he's yeah. Right up there, top three. Ronaldinho could never <laughs> score against Stoke. <laughs> oh, nice. uh, yeah. Yo, put some respect on Firmino's name, man. Uh, I love him. It's, uh, so do I. People uh, like, don't say what you're gonna say. I'll cut you off. No, no, no. I, I think he's. I, I, I'm just trying to think while you, while you were talking. He, he, for me, he's, he's, he could be. Yeah. I'm just thinking. I just thought. I just thought of him because. Yeah. He played on that Arsenal Invincible team yeah. and, and whatnot, but... No, I'm trashing those guys. I know. Uh, who, who else? De- Deco could never. He tried. No. Could never. Richarlson okay. could never. No. Robinho thought he was going to come and then decided... Hold on. I'm, I'm going back to Brazil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thought he could turn it up. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. The Samba's better over here. Yeah, Firmino, yeah, Firmino's that guy, man. He's got to be... A, and I know you don't like the other guy, so... Who's the other guy? Coutinho. Oh yeah, no, you trash. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, uh, people, someone said I don't like any soccer players. Firmino, who I like him. No, that's not. And cheap. I like Sadio too, man. I li- I like that whole little front three. But just Mo got to chill because he st- he robbed Kevin of that PFA Player of the Year. So I hate him. I'm hating on him just because of that. All right. Um, let's, let's other move. bums, other bums. Yeah, I know. We we we're almost. Yeah, we're good. Because we don't really got to break down any more games. Like give them the full in depth yeah, yeah, no, analysis. No, no. Um, uh, Chelsea United. <laughs> which, which ha, 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 do your little voice. <laughs> uh, my own. When, when, which underachievers are we going to first? No, United, because that way I can rip them. Um, when you can't win against Southampton, that tells me everything that I need to know 
on how your season is going to go. Hey, my, don't disrespect my boy JWP and Danny. Yeah. Don't disrespect that. Real <laughs> <God>. <laughs> um, that game, that I don't know what you're going to take out of that game, but that shows me what they are. Hey, man, one of, one of our little competitors made a little four-minute tactical analysis of United <laughs> against Southampton. I was like, oh, oh kill him. Wow. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> you tell us what we couldn't see. <laughs> yeah. Um, shout out to that. No, don't even shout that guy out. Um, what What do you take from that game? That Daniel James needs to relax. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know what? You know, y'all give these little kids too much credit, man. He scores one goal. He's the god. These bombs backed all like <laughs> if he didn't shoot that, they were gonna back up all the way into the net, net to let him shoot. <laughs> Yo, y'all, come on, man. Um, United, I. Yeah, you okay. know what's me, fu- you know what's funny? One of the guys that are gonna come by. Yeah, uh, he's, he's gonna fight me. No, he was arguing on on my little post about United, and he, well, Ollie knows this is the team better than anyone. You don't know what Ollie knows. Hey, we're four weeks into the season. I know what Ollie and, knows. And, and I know what Ollie knows. But, but I told him to come this week, but he couldn't come. I yeah. was like, yo, let's have a discussion now. We're four weeks in. And usually I'd say that's too premature. No, but nah, let's <laughs> let's have a discussion right now about Manchester uh, United. Uh, can you tell me? If if they're in trouble and they were in trouble again in this game, who do you bring off the bench to change that game? That's my that's my point. Who do you bring that's off that? Psh- who do you bring off that? Because as bad as Chelsea are, okay, they have at least some people to bring off that bench. Michi could is the first one to come to mind. No, you try. No, no, but, <laughs> no, but, he but he's a lot. He, he's a lot better than what United have to come oh, off oh, theirs. Oh, well, I'm gonna get to Chelsea f- in a minute. After. Okay, I know. Not, see the problem that United did. Was that we were all killing them for clearing the deadwood? Yeah, but they cleared everyone. <laughs> and they didn't bring anyone in. That's the then problem. They, they got, then they got rid of Chris Smalling. They yep. got rid of Darmian. Yep. Um, Lukaku. Lukaku. Why did they get rid of him? Alexis. Alexis. But now when I look at their squad, if uh-huh. it's n- if it's not Greenwood, ooh, Andreas Pereira, ooh, yeah. Nomania Matic can't even get into the team. Ooh. Yeah. Juan Mata, who started this week because players were hurt. Yeah. You got nothing. Yeah. If I'm Paul Pogba, and Paul Pogba don't even deserve this privilege, but if I'm Paul Pogba, I'm looking around this dressing room and be like, what is my life? Yeah. And that's why you play like trash. Did you, did you, did you see his little uh, IG? No, I didn't. What did he, he say? He, the one guy commented, and they tagged him, come to Madrid, and he liked it. Ooh. He doesn't he wish. Yeah. Paul got to relax. Um, but the problem there also, besides the coach, besides the fact that they spent um, over a hundred million on two defenders and they've only kept one clean sheet. And that's yep. because Emerson and, and everyone else couldn't hit the, the back of the net. Yep. And they lose to, do you see how they lost? We didn't talk about they, how they lost to palace. Yeah. The first goal, the David but, De Gea for the second one. Yo, Fab's got to come back here and really and def- and defend and his really man. We have to have that conversation again. But I, somebody asked me this: Do you feel that teams no longer fear playing, yo, you going been, or playing United? Yo, you've been saying that for a year now, and I, know. I haven't. I haven't been like, no, you wrong. But yeah. since, since we're having that discussion, no, they haven't feared them for a year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Has that is that factor is that fear because it because it hey. remember what you said about Liverpool and field and I really kind of like didn't really give yeah, you enough you, credit yeah, for it yeah you but asked. but <laughs> that used to be Old Trafford yeah that fear about going there blah, 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 that's gone but look look there there are only two teams that are feared in England right now only two yeah 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 no no I I'm but, but I'm but yes you are right but you know what I'm saying yeah um, you're right there and the last problem that they have. And it's going to really bite them with that Lukaku sale. Is that you are hinging your season on Anthony Martial and Who's Mark. <laughs> Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford having the season of seasons. Yeah. Like when I'm mean being season of seasons, I mean like most Salah Harry Kane seasons. Yeah. That is the, both of them together at the same time. That is the only way you are going to achieve what you think you're going to achieve. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they're. But, but. The thing about Poch that I don't get is that even if he were to go there, he would be taking a step back. We said that. So it's like, 
he got to he got to leave Spurs and just chill for a bit. Yeah. Don't rush to United. Yeah. Like Max is doing. Yeah. If I'm a manager, I'm not rushing to United right now because Ollie is <laughs> Ollie is killing the ship. The, and I we we said this. We're gonna get off this right now. Is that the problem with that fan base is the nostalgia factor, mm-hmm. and they think that they're gonna turn out these little Greenwoods and these little Tuanzebis and yep. Pereiras and do something special, but it ain't like that anymore. Nope. That was twenty odd years ago. There was you think. You think Ferguson could do that with Pep and Klopp doing what they're doing? No. He would have got smoked. Yep. Ferguson, and to your point, Ferguson saw the writing on the wall when they won that last title with Robin Van Persie. Yep. And he said, if I rebuild this thing from scratch, which I'm going to have to do right now, yep. it's going to take me a few seasons, and I'm old, and I ain't doing that again. I'm going out with a bang. Done. Good for him. They got a big problem. Yep. And... If Chelsea just kept sorry <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and sorry implemented these kids, they'd be in a much better position. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If those bums play good for one half, yep. and they can't press in the second. Nope. And they get smoked. <laughs> yeah. But I do give you know Sheffield United play some interesting little football with the little center backs kind of thinking yep. that they <laughs> But I told you that in the first in the first week when I watched them, I said that team's gonna be that team's gonna be all right. No, but the, the reason why I don't think they're going to be all right is because they make too many individual mistakes. No, but I, but I don't think... Like, Tammy should have never scored either of those goals. No, no, of course not. But, <clears throat> but what I'm saying is that I don't think... Okay, I shouldn't say that they're not going to be in the relegation battle, but I think they're going to be one of those teams that will be... From what I've watched with Newcastle... Um, oh, no, Newcastle, you know, don't put... Di- yeah, don't I'm going to put the... I'm disrespect. Put the, yeah. Newcastle? Why? No, they're they're gonna be fighting. I no. Think, yeah. Joelton? Uh, well, I don't care. I, there's there's not enough there. I haven't seen enough. Uh, granted, I haven't watched enough in Newcastle, but yeah, I. Yeah, you, t- you take your that bo- back. Your, your, your boys over there. I know. I know. Yeah, you, yo, he you, do you, everything great with scoring and assisting. Yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he's running really well. Is that what you're the the two primary <laughs> concepts in the game. He ain't doing either, but he's he's playing well. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. see the effort. Yeah. I <laughs> no, look, the reason. They could be last. Se- they could be this season's Fulham with a possibly better defense because they make too many individual mistakes. Tammy should have never scored those two goals. I agree. And I watched them last week, and they gave Leicester that game too. Yes. They, 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 if they could, and I know this is very easier to say than done. If they limit those mistakes, then I could, I could back you. Okay. But I gotta see it. So them, I'm waiting on them. Fair. Chelsea, the defense to them. Besides Frank possibly not knowing what he's doing, and I know he hasn't coached that many games, but that's why you don't hire him. <laughs> um, like it's it's pretty simple. Um, the only defense I can make to Chelsea that I can't make for United, and yeah, Martial don't really count in this, is that they are missing key starters. That I think that when they slide in, they should be able to squeeze who's, that game who's out. The key? Um, one is Rudiger. Oh, uh, in the back. Okay, yeah, sorry, yeah. Rudiger. Yeah. Uh, they look much better when Conte's there. We, yeah. we have to remember that he's not there. Yeah. And boy, I hope he leaves next season. He got to play somewhere better, man. Yeah. Um, I think Hudson Adoy could start. He's. I think he's coming back next week. And so then that can change things. And then Pedro was playing a key role for them. Yes. Not to say that he should start every week, but I think those are four players that you put them into the mold. Yeah. Then they are not significantly better. No, but no. They're, but they're. They're slightly better. Correct. And I think that makes that pushes them over the hump with United. I yes. also do question why William doesn't start. Uh, that's a good question. Well, well, I, I always rated him quite highly. But yeah, like I feel like he should be able to start for this team. Yes. You know, on a week to week basis. I don't know if they're easing him in. Um, Mason Mount don't look too bad. Um No, he's been having a a, a good uh a but, good start to the But season. when Rudiger slides in, they should be a bit better. Um and the fact that Oh, yeah, Tammy's Tammy, man. Yeah. Giroud, Giroud, like, they don't got no... Yeah, they got an issue there. But Conte needs to be there if they're going to... If they're not going to collapse like they are at home. Right. Because Leicester was sitting on the counter. Yes. And as and soon as Sheffield grew in the game, they were getting chances on the counter as well. Yep. They need Nogolo there, and yep. that's that's their big thing. But, yeah, they're, they're trash too, man. <laughs> they're trash. Um, Where do you want to go? Anything... Well, no, we're just to run down anything that big that happened in the Prem besides that. Not not the games, but like anything. I mean, Villa got, and we want to talk about Villa very quickly. But that's I, I just don't understand what's the, what's the use of VAR anymore. 
you know what? To be honest, I only s- saw it briefly. I was actually going to watch the game tonight. Okay, so I will say something. So okay. I can't um, I can't really speak on that. Wolves lost. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I, um, I didn't really. Everton I, had to kind of. Everton needed something. Okay. Um, But for Wolves, to me, it's kind of like, I think they should push the Europa League. I haven't seen their group, but. But like, regardless, I think that they should try and push that. Like, okay. th- I don't think they're going to. Let's say they don't focus on it. I don't think they can outdo what they did last season. No, no and I don't think they're. I don't. I and think they're good enough that to, to not get relegated. relegated. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I think you could. You you could do that. So I think that. Um, Leicester. Yeah. Vardy scored a really great goal. Yeah. Um, Vardy's been scoring a lot of goals, he, and he scored in the last two. And we got to put uh, some respect on Brendan Rodgers' name. Yeah, because we have to remember that he almost won the Premier League. And James Madison is playing well for that team too. Uh, you think they could pull the miracle of miracles? To do what? I don't know. Finish fourth. Yeah. In the top four. Yeah. Um. I I think they'll be I think they'll be in the running. I think they'll be in the top six. Okay, so that means United is out. Yeah. Okay. I'm just asking to yeah. ask. And Chelsea's out. Yeah, because. I, the, the oh no no Chelsea could be in, Chelsea could be in, Chelsea could be in yeah, yeah. um yeah I I think that I think that Leicester team is could be one to to watch out for, um I'm just worried I don't know if they can keep it up the yeah. whole year but no, well ben, Brennan's a good coach man yeah that's the thing is that we don't and it's a good squad we don't they, they yeah. don't have any they don't have uh any European fixtures yeah we so. we don't give Brennan enough credit and I think we should based up what he's done. In his time in the Premier League, is familiar with it. Um, well, Vardy's not no international football. Yeah, could focus on that. Um, my question to them, and and it was a question when they won the league. Obviously, there was no City in Liverpool at that time. Right, was for this top four race if they want to be in it. Is what happens if players do go down? Well, yeah, but that, that's but that's a that's yeah that, that's something that, that, that you, come that that's comes a, with the territory, yeah, right? Yeah. So I feel like if they're able to stay healthy. It's it's there. Can, yeah. I can't say that it's not because the other bums are doing what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and he, Haller's doing a good job for West Ham. Yeah, yeah. We'll get into that. Like I said, I'm gonna watch everything that, that I haven't watched or over the international break, and then we can have like a real discussion. Fair. Um, and I think besides the Premier League, I for the Premier League, I think that's about it. Nothing really else. Cause, um, not Coutinho. Chicharito went to Sevilla. Yeah, back in the La Liga. Yeah. Any other, any big English trans? Oh, no, their window's closed. Who cares? They're winning. Oh, yeah. Um, People are complaining about that, by the way. What? Uh, Spain? Pardon me? Spain? Um, uh, Barcelona enjoyed just tying games? When they're not playing at home? Yeah. Uh, yo, I, who's played in that game? I just want to look at that quickly. They, 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 they really missed that little guy. Fati scored, the 16 year old kid. Yes. Got a hug from Messi after the game. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Um, I don't know what they're doing, man. Well, Grizz is... Tr- I have to admit, Grizz is trying his best. Yeah, he played good in that game that they, they won. He played, he, he sco- he played well in the last two games. Yeah. So, I can't really say much to that. No. They didn't get Neymar. And we're, Neymar um, was very sad. And we'll get to that in a second, because you, you're happy about that. I just want to see who yeah. started, so we could just really run this down quickly. Grizz, Grizz... R- like, look. Hey, man, you're not going to win many games. I know people think that and also, soon is not a bad team. Yeah, I, I, and they're they're traveling, correct. But you're not going to win many games when Rafinha and Carlos Perez, and no disrespect to them, no. But you're not going to win many games on the road with those two up correct. front with, Griez- with Griezmann. Yeah, and a lot of people need to understand that. I know. I feel like they belittle La Liga and think that it's just a cakewalk. No, it's not. But no, you need quality players to win those correct. games. Correct. And yeah, look at the squad. I think with what's going to be interesting this season is who's your starting three. In the midfield. Yes. Because who did they start that game? They started De Jong, Busquets, Sergio Roberto. That's what they've been going with. I mean, I don't know who else. De Jong fits there. Busquets fits there. But it's the but it's the third. It's the third role. And because who, Vidal, sorry, who did you say that was? Sergio Roberto has been starting. Weekly. I would start him over Vidal. But you have to look at it. So Sergio Roberto starts. That leaves Vidal, yep. Artur, who did come on. Yeah. As a sub, and I think he scored. And Rakitic? And then Rakitic on the bench. Oh, sorry. I forgot about him. Um, I no, don't know how Rakitic does not start. No, that was my... I forgot. To, I, I thought Rakitic was injured for some reason. I don't know. I know they try to use him as a, as leverage to get Neymar, and they try to... Well, I for a long time, he was being leveraged for at Juve. 
Yeah. For Bernadeschi and Dybala. Yeah. I, I don't I don't so I don't know how that So but but I think and and I and I don't know about this, but maybe he wasn't playing for that reason. That could be it. Right? So Abu- let, abundance of riches they have in midfield. Yes, but I think you're right. I think if it's not for that reason, yeah. that we I can't give you a reason why he doesn't play. Yeah. He's my third. He should be the third. Yes. And Busquets kind of trailing off a bit, so I don't know. We'll see. The, the way the season progresses, they have enough depth in that area that it shouldn't be an issue, no. as long as they could keep everyone happy. Um, I didn't watch the game, so no, I'll I. leave that where that is. That's one of the only games I didn't watch. And, and, your, and the, your other bums? And given the fact that everyone else isn't doing too great, well, kind of, Real Madrid. Yeah. <laughs> well, yo, I didn't got to come back before we really have a discussion about them. I know. But what I will say is that Gareth Bale is their best player. Yep. And he's healthy. Uh huh. And he's scoring goals, but yeah. also getting sent off. That's good. But Zidane got to use him. Like, I'm watching it. It's like, why you got Gareth as a touchline predator? Like, he's just staying on the line. You know what? I, I, and, and I think, and, I, and, I've, and I've thought of this while I was watching, Zidane's better suck up some pride and play that guy. Because I know that there was a little bit of. There was. You know, he said that he could go. Yeah. Oh, but if, but if, you know what? He's your best player. And you need to suck up that pride yeah. because next thing you know, you're going to be out of that title race because Barca is going to get going. Yeah. Atletico's playing very well. Yeah. Shout out to so, Joao Felix, by the way. Yeah. Um, I, you know, that team is that team is going to always be consistent. If they don't get going, they're going to be far and out of reach of that top, out yeah. of those top two. They got to, um, yeah, Bale has been pretty good. He wasn't good last week, but. The team as a whole wasn't that good, no. but he was good in the opening week. And this week, this weekend, he saved them. Yeah, he, he scored the two goals. And if he just has a bit more freedom to move off the line, like they could really get something going. So I want to see what they do when Hazard comes. Because it's gonna be, is it gonna be Bale, Hazard, and then Benzema? I love Benzema, by the way. So no, I know. I mean, if you if He's you want to compete, that's who you play. You have to like cut the Vinicius crap, cut the Lucas Vasquez crap. No, 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 no. If you C- want to play, crap, man. you got to play your your best three game in, ga- game out. Excuse yeah, me. they got to cut that crap. And um, you know who is you know who did play well? Don't worry, we're good for time. Okay. Um, Casemiro played good this weekend. He did. And I was gonna put this on Instagram, and I'm still gonna put it after this because I don't trust people. Well, who do you pick? Decisions, decisions. Who are you take into the carnival? Casemiro or Conte? Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. Don't answer right now. Don't no, don't impulsively about. answer. No, no, I'll think about that. But I know who I'm taking. <laughs> um, I know who I'm taking. Do you, uh, speaking of transfers, uh, Navas goes to PSG. Yeah, and then this I don't really care because they're still gonna play Tebow. Yeah, no, no, I know. Ariola came to. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that that's weird how that happened. Uh, I guess if I was Tebow, I would be careful because that's his, that's Zidane's boy. Yeah, I Fra- know. A, fr- a French yeah. keeper, you know, like I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, watch, you're talking about a story that that yeah. could develop. There, there could be one. So Sedan may not make it to wherever he thinks he's gonna make it if they don't start pulling that weight. Yeah, I know. And they have the same issues because again, that game against Valladolid, if Benzema doesn't score that great goal, correct, great goal, yes. <laughs> then yeah, 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 because they didn't play that well. No, so there something I don't know. I want to see how Eden. I'm really interested to see how Eden fits into this team, but I'm very happy for Gareth because I feel like, I'm telling you, man, media agendas, and especially in Spain, but he's showing them that he's he's that guy mm-hmm. when he's healthy. And I've always said it. When he's healthy, he's their best player. He's a guy that's going to get you the goals. Yep. He's a goal scorer. Put him in a position where he can get the goals. And Benzema's Benzema. He'll always create that space and score the goals. Mm-hmm. And then Hazard, Hazard not goal scorer, so it does, it's not really going to affect him. No. Not a killer. Um, no, he's not. Fab's trying to lie. <laughs> um, I watched Atletico too. Did you watch Atletico? I did not. Um, they went down early, made some mistakes. They got a nice little team. I don't know about Joao. You don't know? You're not convinced on him yet? No, nah, y'all are y'all are jumping the gun. But from what we've seen, it's it's nice. I like the little. He, he drops off. Costa breaks behind. Yeah. He's the first goal that they score. Costa bullied. I forgot who it was. I don't know if it was Alvarez or. I forgot who it was. We bullied him and then pulled it back. Yeah. And then I was pretty sure it was Joel Felix. It was. Scored. Yeah. yeah. Bullied him. I like that. Thomas scored a great goal yes, to win did. the game. Yep. And then Vitolo came on. Yes. They have a nice foundation. Uh, they tried the little diamond with Trippier pushing forward. I see what they're trying to do. I just don't know if they're better defensively. Than in previous years? Yeah. 
because Lodi made some mistakes. Um, who else made some mistakes? Trippier, is, he's doing well. Yeah. And it's Hermoso with Jimenez. So yes. Jimenez is going to have to take that next step up and really be that commanding center back that he can be. Still a bit young. Correct. So I want to see how I, I'm really interested to see them play the big games. They have Juve in the in the group, right? They do. That yeah. will be that will be an interesting test. I don't think they're at. I think they took a bit of a drop off. But if other players like Saul and Koke Costa stays fit, if they play to their level, then it could be a game. But they played very open in that game against yeah was, an Ibar side that hasn't lost to them at no nope, there in a, in a bit. A very long time. So big win for them. Three out of three, right? That is correct. So hey. Shout out to Atletico. <laughs> Simeone last season. So yeah. great start. Then we get to the Bundesliga. And we got another team that's in first. Yeah. Leips. Yeah. Timo. Yeah. Oh, I, and I'm surprised he was still there. I thought he would leave, to be honest. <laughs> but go, glad he stayed. Yo, Timo's? <laughs> uh, Timo got like three moves. <laughs> yeah. And speed. <laughs> hey, listen. That's what you have in FIFA, right? Just push yeah. them all forward. I was like, Timo's killing Jinter. It's like, come on, man. Like, this isn't even fair. Like, Leipzig, to me, personally, yeah, the Bundesliga starts after the international break. Correct, yes. Because it's Leipzig against Bayern. Yes. Leverkusen against Dortmund. Correct. If there's any plot twist that I want to take from what I've seen so far, I have nothing to say about Leipzig yet. Because we'll learn a lot about them against Bayern. I, I if, don't really if, have that much to say about Bayern. If, if Leipzig, it, but the thing about Bayern is that they have enough talent. Like, no, but I'm saying I haven't seen enough of... Of Bayern. Oh, oh, nothing changed. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> nothing so changed. like, you nothing, know, nothing. other than the fact they got Coutinho. I'm not mad at that because they need someone. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'm saying like, I haven't seen enough of Bayern this year to tell you, yeah. to give you really yeah. a true, a yeah. true deep dive on what they are. Are we going to be, are you going to have something after the international break? Well, well, it depends on how they do after. Oh, okay, I, after I thought I thought you meant like you need to rewatch those three games. No, play. this the, because they don't okay. they didn't play anybody. Okay, as well. Okay, I, I still th I still think they have the same issue there, but I, but yeah. I but I still think they have enough talent to get over the hump. Yeah, because and Leipzig will learn more about them because if they are to beat Bayern, they will be like, okay, maybe you for real, maybe. Okay. I just don't think they have enough depth. They That's picked up Patrick Schick. Yeah, Mkhitaryan Schick. went to Roma. Yes. Um. Whatever. That's a side note. Um, but Dortmund. Hmm. And they lost to Union hmm. Berlin. I, th I think it's pronounced Onion. What? I think it's pronounced Onion. No, it's pronounced Union. I'm pretty. I think it's pronounced Onion. Are you sure? I think Onion Berlin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we will find that out. I think. I think it is. Okay. From what I, I was listening to, but um, Dortmund, man, it's not. They were very sloppy, and w now from what we've seen from the sample size. Yeah. They haven't played well away from home. Nope. Because who they who should have they have lost to? Um, I forgot. I have to look at the results. But they should have lost that game. Yes. And they didn't. And then they got and then they got punished. Yeah. This week. That's that team's first. <laughs> yeah. In in um, ninety years. Yeah. Sixty something. Oh, I don't remember. And I know I know Witzel wasn't playing, but Hummels was creating. Um, Akanji was creating. Yeah. Uh. I just don't think they're good enough. I just think that, and we'll see what time, and it's not the coach, but I just don't think they have the stomach. I don't think they have the quality to go to do it over 38 games. So who is it going to push? Who is it the team that's going to push? It was, it was Cologne. Pardon me? Um, when they won 3-1? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, Who's going to push Bayern? Is, is, does that mean you I, see... You see. No, I still think they could push Bayern. Okay. But I just don't think that they're going to win. Okay. So I think they could... like Kind of how like... Can, can Leipzig push? Uh, I don't know. Are they going to be in the race? I, I know everyone's hyped about the Nagelsmann thing. Yeah. And you know, Nagelsmann got some swag. Yeah, a little fresh kicks and little, just, you youngster, get off the bench. <laughs> you shouldn't be there. Um, I don't know if they have enough depth to do it over to do it over that time span too. Yeah, you know, you could see them kind of fading as the season goes on. Yeah, I think it would take a big. Are they in Europe? They should be. In Champions League. Yeah, they're in the Champions League. Okay, hundred percent, they're in the Champions League. I just want to see their group. Um. But I, I just don't know if they have enough in it. And I also think that they've been doing well, obviously, because Timo's been playing well. But yes. I, I can't expect Timo to do that for the entire season. No. You know? So, who's their group? 
We 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 ain't, we ain't talk about that stupid chammy for. We'll do that next week. Mm, we definitely will. Um, who's in their group? It's a trash group. Benfica, Leon, and Zenit. Ah, I feel like those teams. Leon is around there punching weight. Benfica's around there punch. Like, yeah, they're no one's significantly better. I don't know much about Zenit this season, so you know. So I don't. I just Dortmund really have to prove me wrong. I I was skeptical about them last season, and nothing that they've done has really um, tipped me to think that they're better. Yes, they're on field signings, like their transfer signings from the summer, and Julian Brandt, who played well in spells. But Correct. he kind of shifted off as that game ended. Yep. And um, Thorgan hasn't really played that well. Um, Hummels is an improvement, but still issues. We'll see about Schulz, who they yep. picked up. But I don't know, man. Uh, I think that it could go down to the wire based off the fact that Bayern are who they are. But I still think that they have the edge. But we'll learn more after the international break. Uh, PSG won with Chupo Moting and no Mbappe, no Neymar, nope. no Cavani. Still get it done. What up, FC Mets? And and they and you picked up... Also do that game. They picked up Bacardi. I don't like it, but I do. Why? I like it long term. Okay. You don't like it short term because one is going to have an affair with Neymar? No, because they got four alpha males in that one dressing room and... I don't trust Thomas to be able to handle that. Yeah. And you know, yeah. Na- you know, Neymar got the Brazilian clan on lock. You yeah. know, he got all the Spanish speakers with him. Yeah. Well, Cardi, who Cardi got? Well, nope. Cardi is Spanish speaking too. Yeah. <laughs> From the wrong country. Who, who Cardi got? Angel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's his boy. Angel soft. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 there's going to be a little rival between I, Argentina I, and Brazil. Angel, if, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> come on. Verratti is going to help him. Oh, he's, he's playing Syria. No. Yeah. But no. Yeah. Verratti's got uh, Cavani's got back. No. Yeah. He got Neymar back. Yeah. He likes Neymar. Yeah. So I, I just don't. And then if they're all healthy, how does that work? Um, With the cardio on the bench. I know. And how is Akardi going to feel about that? Not very good. And then they picked up Sarabia. Yep. Who's also going to be on the bench. Yes. It's, it's, I like it because Cavani has been so injury prone. Yeah. And I feel like you can't rely on his health. And Neymar's injury prone too. Correct. So it could work. Oh, yeah. But just like if they're all fit. Ooh. If. If. I do. Yo, I, I like Idris Gay, by the way. I know you do. Yeah. Yeah, I know you do. That's why I let you know that. So no more Marquinhos. Nope. And I think Adrissa Gay does help them a lot. Yes, it does. But what I'll say about PSG, and I've, I've stuck to this, and now they have a competent whole uh, runner in there, and they could throw Ander Herrera to run around because that's what he does too, right? What happens when they don't get out of their group? Who's in their group? Real Madrid? Is it? I didn't look. Yeah, come on, man. They're getting out of the group. Are, are you sure? If Neymar held, well, Neymar suspended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They they've got the group, man. Come on. That's a disrespect. Oh, I know. Why do you no, but why do you guys hate them? I I cause you like them. Galatas, right? Ooh, Falcao. Yep. Gotta hit them. Club Bruges. Ooh. Travasca is his old team. Come on, man. PSG and Real. They getting out of that group? I don't know. Ask ask Real. <laughs> PSG could win that group. PSG should win that yeah. group. Yeah. If everyone's healthy. If, yeah. th- if three out of the four are healthy. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's Cavani can stay hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, but the, I, li- I like what they've done. I don't like Diallo. No. Yeah. It's got to be Marquinhos and Thiago Silva. Yes, it does. And I, and I also don't like, and Juan Bernard and Mounier still think they can have an upgrade in their fullback areas. That's fair. But I like what they did with the midfield. They don't. It's not a great midfield. No, and Tiller and Navas helps in the back. Yeah, it's not a great midfield, but Adrissa Gay does help, and Ander Herrera does help based off what they had last season. And a little bit of grint. Yeah, yeah. So interesting to see how that goes. But I do want to add because we're ending this. Yeah. Um, yo, you have to watch some French games. Okay. PSG may not win the league this season. Ooh, look at the La Liga. Ta- I mean, look at the league on table. PSG, Rennes, Nice, and Angers all with the same point tally. PSG only up on goal difference. Ooh, got a title race for it. Ooh, yeah, I got no faith in any of those teams. You, you're gonna, you better start watching. Oh, okay. league is about to get, and Leon right behind them too. You just better start watching, okay? And the other breakdown. 
Yeah. Yo. <laughs> the other break. <laughs> Portuguese league. Famalicão. Oh, God. Ooh, Fabs, your team is trash. Only team undefeated in Portugal. Don't have to ask me twice. Well, we're getting a little upset this season. Sorry, Benfica. Sorry, Porto. Sorry, Sporting. Sorry, Boy Vista. Look at that. Look, I'm not lying to you. Famalicão. Who? How long, did, how long did it take you to pronounce that correctly? Ooh, talk about, I don't know, whenever you see the little A with the little yeah. abbreviation, that's yeah. how you know it's fire. Yeah. That's how you know they're good. <laughs> Pick up a little drink. Where the hell did they come from? <laughs> they, they, you know what? They're so good that their badge isn't even on. Jeez. Hey, man. <laughs> Fab's stupid. Fab, you know what, what I like about Fab's? He didn't want to didn't want to tell us anything about this. I haven't posted this little group chat, Fab's. We need to know about Family Cow. We need to know why they're in first. Why we're, are they in first? We're, <laughs> well, what happened to Porto? You know? What's the guy's name? Luis? Ze Luis? Or I don't know. I don't know. But why is Family Cow first? I got them winning the league because, you know, they don't have a badge. And that's about it. Yeah. Send that, <laughs> send that to the group. <laughs> but yeah, man, they're in first. So shout out to them. Shout out to them. Hopefully we stay undefeated all season. Uh, TFC still stinks. We're not going to break that down. Um, they're in a the playoff spot. Are they? Yep. Okay. Well, maybe international break. We'll talk about them. Okay. Can, is that do they play this weekend? Um, no, it's international break. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Well, shout well. out to Michael Bradley for making a big stink about that. But good for him. Why did he not get called up? No, he didn't get called up. They didn't call him up because he's got a big game for TFC. But he just went on a big rant that the MLS should shut down during during the windows. He's right. Yeah, he's right. Because there's some teams that are playing. Oh yeah, yeah, he's right. Yeah, no, no, uh, uh, yeah. He. I, I mean, look, I'm just gonna do this very, very quickly. Uh, he's right. If the league wants credibility, they can't have games going yeah, on. No, no. He he pretty much said if the league wants to be credible, he can't have they can't have games, excuse me, going on during international break or during major competitions. And there he's hundred percent right. No, no, no. I, I'm I'm with him. Shout out, yo, Michael, man. <laughs> team, but yeah, you're right, man. Just, no, I like you, Michael. Just start start speaking like that more often and, and play better. Um <laughs> You're playing just fine. You're gonna kill me. You watch the CPL? No. Anyone watch the CPL? Yo, that's yo. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm gonna talk to someone um after this, and we're gonna go sit down, and I wanna ask him like, yo, is CPL popping? I'm gonna ask him if people still go to the games. Uh I don't know, but uh, Forge made it to the quarterfinals of the Concacaf qualification. Okay. Yeah. Is, are they still in it? No, they lost. Okay. To I don't remember who, but a team that I've heard of that have made it to the mm. proper. Uh, they, they was Hamilton buzzing? I don't know. Do people still go? Those? I don't know. Oh, okay, but uh, from what I heard, it was there was a good crowd at the uh, yeah. at the ch at the Champions League one. Okay, so um, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I can't say much because I, I know some of the guys. They try to s give me some smoke, so. Okay. <laughs> You know, see them promoting their their little livelihood. I can't can't really discredit them. Okay, know? that's fair enough. You know, one day they may support. Us. One day we may get one of them to sit on the couch and hear about their. Fuck no, he's sitting in the chair. Yeah, okay. He's the guest. <laughs> no, I know. The, maybe I have to sit in the chair. So you give the oh, no, oh okay. Give the guests proper treatment. I sat in that damn chair for one year. I know, but you held it down. Okay, you look good on it. Pause. <laughs> um, but yeah, we gotta find out, man. I, I really want to know the the what goes down there. But that was episode eighty seven of the interviews podcast. We did what we did our best today. We just want to let you guys know that we're back. We're not playing any games. So some weeks we make. No, I'm joking. Every Tuesday we're recording. Podcast comes out on Wednesday. Champions League weeks. We're giving you everything on Thursday. Thursday, because we don't care about the Europa League until it gets to the final sixteen. Sorry, but that's how it goes around here on the best soccer slash footy podcast in the world if you want to hear more about it know someone that does or know someone that stopped listening but then you found out that it's fire and you want them to listen to it you can find us on itunes spotify spreaker iheart radio iheart radio and any android apps on your android devices and i'm going to put it up on youtube because y'all need to see us and on top of that you can find us on facebook.com slash the interviews like and follow follow and like you can find us on instagram or twitter twitter we've just been chilling like 
I just don't want to engage with people anymore. No. <laughs> I always leave my thoughts out. Yo, you say what you want. I don't give a damn. You're going to you respect it. <laughs> the Twitter.com slash the interviews TV. Or you can find me on Instagram where I post swaggy pictures of myself and try to put like little 30 minute, 30 second clips of the game on IGTV. Uh, it's also Instagram.com slash the interviews TV. I see you little clip draw gang or whatever you tactic guys are doing trying to copy the swag, but they know that I did it first. So stop it. Cut it out. We're coming for you best soccer slash footy podcast in the world if dan ain't got nothing to say because he got somewhere to be because he's business all business and i got somewhere to be too then all business oh you know we swagging (laughs) then you can find us next week it's international break but we'll find something to talk about or let me know in the community group i'll post something let me know what you want us to talk about and we'll try to break it down but with that being said best soccer slash footy podcast is about to end it's your guy tyrell it's your boy dan and this is the best soccer slash footy podcast in the world now we are out 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 out